doing the wasabi thing. It's like the equivalent of like sniffing markers as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> One makes oh, you dumb as <laughs> The other is the other wasabi. Like, uh, maybe I'm a glue sniffer. Hello and welcome to another episode of Trash Taste. I'm your host for today, Garn, and joining oh. me once again are the boys. And this is going to be the least controversial episode we've ever had on Trash Taste. I swear we say that every episode. It's weird. <laughs> why, would, why is it gonna be not controversial at all? It's not gonna be controversial because, you know, every three by three episode, there has never been zero controversies mm. uh, because we're doing another three by three episode, guys, where we just talk about stuff we like. We haven't done one of these in a while, have we? What was the no. last three by three we did? I think it was, Music? Yeah, music. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. That yeah. was like two years ago. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, we're just sharing things that we like that mean something to us. And what could be controversial about that, right? So we decided for this episode, yep. uh, the one thing that we often like to talk about on Trash Taste is food, mm -hmm. but we've never listed out some of our favorite mm, foods. Food. So we decided to make a three by three <laughs> of food, food three by three a food okay. three by three i don't really know what that meant it just kind of it just means your nine most favorite or the nine foods that define you the best how did you guys yes. go about putting together your list what kind of <sighs> I, depth okay. of the heart did you tap so into? i i have some which is like i i have a very great attachment to for nostalgic reasons i have ones where it's okay. like i can eat this in any situation any time of the day okay. and then i have ones which are like this is kind of a secret banger. You know, th these are ones where it's like, it's it's not the number one- Secret banger only means shit. It's not a number one charting hit, but it, it has a cult fan base type of deal, you know? Cult fan base right. in your heart. Yeah, cult fan base uh, in my heart. Mine is just sure. nonstop bangers. Just really? now that's what I call we'll food. Be the, we'll be the fucking judge of that. Bangers. We'll be the judge of that. <laughs> nonstop bangers. No, that's what I call food. That's what that, that, that album, the cover is gonna be my food by three. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's just like, these are the dishes where I was thinking about, you know, how sometimes you like, like crave edition, then sometimes you think about eating that and you're like, mm. eh, I'm already feeling that. Yeah. These, all of these dishes I could eat anytime, no matter what, where I am, where I am yeah, in the world. Yeah, me too. I feel like yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. I've decided like, like you hand this to me, I eat it. Yeah, yeah if, sure. if you hand these stuff to me, I always got time. Mm -hmm. I don't need to be craving it because I always am craving it, for no sure. matter what. Mm. Um, okay, we're all on the same, <laughs> we're all on the same base level in that regard, but yeah. now it's up to what Listen, we actually we have chose. To, we have to discuss, but let's not, let's not, judge each other. <laughs> let's, okay, let's not let's, judge each other, let's, right? Let's remain- What's, the, what's let, the fun in that? Let's remain civil in all Are this you is, saying we're like 180 something episodes in and we're suddenly not gonna judge each other anymore? I, I just think that we should, you know, understand each other a bit more sometimes. I feel like we don't do that enough on training. Are you telling that to yourself? <laughs> no, no, no. I just, I just know that I'm, you guys are gonna say mean things. So I just think you're gonna say nice I don't think you're gonna say any mean things about my one. Mine are all just like- Oh, fuck like, off. What did you do? Like, oh, pizza. And I like, I like, I like chicken and I like, uh um, fucking pad thai. Pretty, pad much. thai. pretty much, pretty much. If you, I swear to God, if you have the most basic list, <laughs> I'm gonna be so pissed off. Yeah, that, you're then gonna, we're gonna criticize you're, you. You're gonna look at my list and you're gonna be like, yeah, this is gone. This, 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 we're gonna has, criticize you for being too that, normie. There has to be a food that you look at and you go objectively, I know this is not like the top food of all time for pe other people, but for me, it's a banger. Yeah. I don't know. It's I don't about know defending you your honor. Do I, I don't know don't if there know. is. I was trying yeah. to think about if I have any hot food takes and I have no what hot they, food what, takes. What did they do to you when you were a monk, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's too content. All right, uh, shall we get started with the list? I believe sure. we are once again going to be having Trash Box Kun up and about. Yeah. Um, we're resurrecting him right now. He's, we are he's resurrecting him. stuffed with our names. Yeah. We, have to, we have to create a seance to, mm. to, to get yes. him back from the dead right So now. if this is your first three by three episode, if you don't know what a three by three is, it's a, oh. it's a oh, list sorry. of basically a, uh, as it sounds like a three by three which list. Which is nine. Which is nine. Oh, top nine Very good. Food. Top <laughs> nine food of us. Occasionally I math. All right. All right, first up is gone. <laughs> all right, I swear to God, if we go in the, this order. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's I, let's. I kind of don't want to go last. <laughs> let's let's get my list up. Let's get Sorry. my list up. All right. What the fuck am I looking at here? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, let me let me explain this right now because. Okay, hold on. Okay. Oh no, maybe maybe just leave it there. We'll do both. Do we'll both. do we'll yeah, do, do, we'll both, do both. both. We'll do both. Okay. All hold right. On, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Okay. What? what? Okay. Okay. So. What? 
Okay. Let's, let's go in order. So from top left to right, <laughs> we have uh, Pad Grapal, okay. uh, which is my Thai comfort food. Uh, it's like we the have power to white people, right? Yeah. That's how you say yeah, white. yeah, yeah. We have uh, McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, specifically, the Ed, like, the, okay, so Pizza Hut had this limited oh edition run. God. The crossless. <laughs> they, they had this limited edition run that I discovered when I was a kid. And mm. I still internalize and remember this to this day. It's called The Edge. It's not on offer anymore, but I, I dream about this shit. If that, <sighs> if they bring this back, I am going, I am flying all the way to England or America just so I can eat this again. Yeah, but you have to have Pizza Hut. It's The Edge. Okay, let's not get pizza hung up on it right now. Let's just- All right, right let's it. move on then. Uh, we have, <laughs> and he, you, you, I don't care what chocolate it you is. You are a chocolate fiend. And I don't care what chocolate it is. You put it in Easter egg form. I don't know. It just tastes 10 times better. I don't know yeah. why okay. I can eat Easter eggs all day. Obviously lasagna, yeah. that should not the be a world surprise famous, yeah. World famous, yeah. Uh, I kind of realized this when I was making this list, but I just like wings. Not wings like fake wings, just like, I just- What is fake wings? <laughs> You know what fake wings are. I don't know what you mean yeah, by yeah, fake you wings. Know, what do you yeah. mean by fake wings? Boneless wings? They're not fake wings. You, you, you no, no, know, they're yeah. very much real I, 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 I They're just, very real, I just you. fucking love chicken wings. Okay. And I love, okay. I've loved them everything since I was a kid. Yeah, chicken wings are um, On the bottom left, that's not specifically sushi. That's just salmon nigiri. Oh, okay. <laughs> Only just salmon nigiri. Just salmon nigiri. Just salmon nigiri. Okay, yeah. no tuna, no, <laughs> no white fish, nothing like no. that. Okay. No. Okay. Got it. Uh, on the bottom, it is smoked meat, American barbecue. <laughs> like spare ribs and like shit. Spare, all right, like spare ribs. All right, okay. right Zuckerberg. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Meats. on the bottom right is instant ramen, shin instant ramen. Uh, shin I, specifically or just Shin instant? specifically, okay. all instant right. ramen. I might come out a little bit of swing in here. All right. Gapow, yeah. honestly, not, not the best Thai food. There's so much better Thai food out there. I I, I will say that the reason I put Grapao on uh, isn't because I thought it was, it isn't because it's, I think it's the best Thai okay, food. Okay, okay, okay. That so was a bold thing for me to say to a Thai man. <laughs> <laughs> Let me- <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> you really Con, came out swinging Con, Con, Con already, Con already said, let me, tell you, let me teach you about your own culture. Let me just tell you right now, your, your yeah. food, <laughs> you have better food than this guy. Okay. This is not your strongest fighter. That's what okay. I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing. Grapao, right? If you go to a Thai restaurant, right? Mm. I think every like everyone who has like who has like a grew up with a cuisine, they have this. Yeah. It's it's like the test. Yeah, yeah. About yeah, yeah. if you go that. to a restaurant uh, of a certain cuisine, everyone has like that dish to test the quality of that restaurant. Mm. It's like a steak for like like other places. Yeah, right? yeah. Sure. To me, I order always uh, I always order the Grapal first mm. as like the baseline test of like, if this is good, if you can make this slap, probably most things on this menu absolutely fucking slap mm. because Grapal is like, to me, like the Thai comfort food, right? Mm. Everyone okay, knows how to make it. Everyone knows how to make it. You can find it pretty much in most street places, in most places, everywhere you go in Thailand, this is available, mm. right? So to me, this is not only like my comfort food every time I go to Thailand. It's not like the food I always, I always am like raring to eat. But to me, this is the baseline taste okay, test of okay, everything fair. that Thai food represents. Mm. And you need, you know, it's it's like basically like you know when Gordon Ramsay asks someone to cook an omelet. You know, yeah. if you can't cook this correctly, I do not trust you to handle anything else about my cuisine. You know, That's fair. I think for me, Gapau leveled up. You know, like that uh, that picture of. Uh, uh, Donald Duck when he has a boner and then he's in the air. <laughs> yeah, he's like, <laughs> yeah. That, me when I when I started putting the fish or the what's the, the fish sauce? Is it fish sauce? Yeah, the fish sauce on it. I was yeah. like, holy shit, this is like a different dish. Now. Mm. Okay, so, so you need to put the uh, yeah the fish sauce with like the fresh chilies chopped yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like a different. I was like, holy shit, this tastes so much better. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That I mean, that's that's what they serve it with in Thailand. Yeah, and I, and yeah. I, I didn't know that because obviously when you're in like a British restaurant, they won't give you the because it does smell horrific. Oh, it I mean, does. It's, well, not it horrific. Does. It smells quite nice, but it's just so strong. Yeah. And even like a tiny little container. But when I started adding it to it, I was like, wait. Yeah. Right. Galaxy brain moment. <laughs> like, I'm like, oh, this food is so much better now. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, I do admit, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, it slaps. And like, you know, in terms of like Southeast Asian kind of like rivalry, um, me and Malin get into like fucking 
friendship ending arguments okay. on which <laughs> Thai like, versus Vietnam. Uh, on which country has the better fish sauce. Sure. Like, okay. <laughs> like, I, like, I, I will die for Nampla. I will die for Thai yeah. fish sauce and Malin's like, no. I as, as okay, right? uh, yeah. <laughs> as, to be that my opinion is I think the Thai one's better. Hell yeah, hell I, yeah. I like the Vietnamese one too, but I think personally I prefer the Thai one. Can I say that Pad Thai is kind of mid? Yeah, you can. Can I say it okay? Like, I, I, I don't. Say. I don't like. I don't. I. I you have you ever seen? Like have you ever seen me order pad thai? No, no. I mean, I like pad thai, but I know it's not the best. I just, thing. The, that's like the introduction for white people to Thai food. Yeah, like pad thai. Like, oh, this is kind of cool. Wow. Yeah, this is rather. This is kind of ethnic, guys. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. And then you eat it a bunch. You're like, wait, this is probably like the least flavorful Thai dish. It, it is. Yeah. Uh, I no, think. No. I think one thing about Thai dishes. Uh, it's like diet Thai food. Well, I, I said least flavorful Thai dish. It still has way more flavor than like 99% of British food that I agree. Yeah, I, I, oh, I, yeah. Kind of, I kind of realized this after, you know, trying different kind of cuisines, which is, you know, like Japanese cuisine, especially, and obviously British food, uh, which is Thai or a lot of Southeast Asian cuisine is just packed full of flavor, okay. uh, which is kind of why I think, you know, I really like Nando's because Nando's, Nando's was the closest thing to reminding mm. me of something that is not exactly, you know, Thai food, but has that kind of that like same, flavor, right? same like flavor profile. Sure, sure. Like we talked about uh, one of our, you know, Japanese staff members who complained that Nando's had like too much flavor. Too much flavor, that's, that's, you know? Which is wild. That's a crime. You, yeah, can't, yeah. you can't describe food like that. That's <laughs> fucked up. And to me, like Thai food has always been, you know, now that I've tried different cuisines, it's, it's like, the ingredients we can get in Thailand aren't the same as fucking Wagyu beef mm. or like, you know, some of the pork sausages we can get in England. Mm. But we make up for that shit by just chucking a shit ton of spices and a shit ton of meat. Uh, sorry, a shit ton of like chilies and flavor in it. Mm. And that's how we make up, uh, make up for that. And uh, sometimes more is more. And that's fine. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah. sometimes adding more flavor is great. Like let's not let's not reduce it. All right, so yeah. Kapow makes sense. Uh, explain the fucking sausage egg McMuffin. <laughs> Do I need to explain the sausage <laughs> egg McMuffin? Okay, in a in a fucking three by three though. This is like a die, ride or die food. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can't. I, mean, I, I can't. like it. I, I actually had it yesterday. Oh uh, my god. <laughs> I mean, I like it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to say no to one. Did but... you did you get it delivered though, or did you go to the store? You can't get it delivered. I just feel like it's a different item when it's delivered. Uh, I sometimes get it delivered. You know, when, when I'm hungover, when I'm hungover. No, 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 no. But okay. Oh, dude, okay. it has like a five minute window of being good, the egg no, McMuffin. No, no, no. Like Wait, the, which one do you get? Do you get, which, which, which McMuffin do you get? The sausage and egg McMuffin. Okay. With the hash browns. I, I couldn't okay. include the hash browns in this, but yeah. it is it is the set as a whole, the sausage, sausage egg McMuffin uh, and the hash browns. The McDonald's sometimes, hash brown. You know what, you know what? I'm a fucking fiend for this. There are more times where I order two of them than when I just get one. One you, does not satisfy me. Do you do the double or do you do the single? If I can get the double, I'll get the double. You get one double over two singles? I'll, I'll get two doubles. Dude. <laughs> That's four sausage patties, dog. They are so I'm, good. I'm sorry, you know I wasn't what? familiar with your game, God. You know what, okay, okay. This, oh, might, okay. this might be a hot take. I genuinely, I generally do not care about McDonald's that much compared to their breakfast menu. Mm, their breakfast I've heard menu, that a few times. I their just breakfast don't agree. menu to me eclipses anything else. Ah. Like I actually don't normally crave McDonald's. Like generally, like I know people like get deep fucking craving for McDonald's. Me, I'm, me. The, I'm people. Me, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna yeah. stop you right there, Garner. Let me introduce an item called the McDonald's fries when they are fresh. Uh, they are unbeatable, unmatched as a fast food item. Uh, they are the best thing known to man. And also some of the burgers I like more. Yeah, I like, I like the burgers My more. problem with the McDonald's breakfast, and this has been a constant theme throughout my life, and somehow normal McDonald's doesn't do this to me. Mm -hmm. uh, the breakfast items in particular make me feel awful. I feel- <laughs> Get the fuck out. I feel- Compared to the rest of McDonald's. I, I can eat a Big Mac. I don't know what it is about the Egg McMuffin. I love it. But holy shit, do I feel like I've been through the ringer when I've eaten it. No, do you no, get this? no. I only I only get McDonald's breakfast when I'm like severely hungry. I also, I, also I'm gonna put- I I'm, will never eat it so. I'm gonna put me on the cross right now. I do not like the hash browns in the breakfast. Okay. I don't, okay. I don't. Okay. Here's my complaint. What? I was here's on your complaint. side until so you what? said that. Listen, what? here's my problem. Everywhere in the world I have McDonald's, they're too oily. There's too much oil in the hash browns. Okay, McDonald's is the one place where you I can- I know, I know they're supposed to be oil, but they just put a little too much, man. But, but that's what I mean. Like that's, that's why- That's what I love about that's it. That's why I, I only eat this particular combo of sausage egg McMuffin with the hash brown 
on a morning where I'm severely hungover because otherwise yeah, I, to, I feel yeah. like shit. But okay, like, okay. I know people who will go to McDonald's to, and get five hash browns in the morning. Oh, I'm that's like, psychotic. I'm, I'm like, how is your stomach All right. alive? Yeah. All right. To flip what I said, McDonald's hash brown is the only hash brown I like. Okay, that's that's a fair. I, that's, that's fair. fair. That, I, I'll, like, I'll, I'll allow it. That's like, fair. like to me, when I get like a full English, they have the hash browns over there and I, I eat it. And I'm like, the only thing I can think of is, man, I just wish I had a McDonald's hash brown right now. It's Every other- a lot of, it's very stodgy generally. It, like it's a lot of like just carbs. <laughs> I mean, the thing about the McDonald's hash brown is like, yes, it's greasy. I think it's like the perfect amount of grease oh, to me. Know, yeah, but like, me, it's, it's, it's also, it's also like, I don't know, something about like the thinness of this, the thinness of it as okay, well. Okay. And it's got that sometimes it's not always like perfectly crunchy. Sometimes it's a little bit chewy, but it's like- Soggy. Is the word yeah, soggy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't I'm say chewy. Uh, not chewy, it's soggy, guy. <laughs> Let's be realistic here. Let's be grown up. It kind of crumbles in your mouth Let's come because on. it's it does, a little it bit soggy. You so know? I, okay, I don't like hash browns if they're too crunchy. Okay, you, you have them raw, right? You don't add any sauce to it. No, no, I have them raw. That's crazy to me. Uh, oh, are you supposed, I, I, are you supposed I have, to have them? I have them raw. I, I do, I, I have a bite raw and then I'm like, hold on, I need I need like the vinegariness of the, the ketchup to help with the oil here. Oh, uh, sorry, with the, um, like, yeah, the vin- vinegariness of ketchup to help with the oil of the hash brown. I don't think Otherwise I've it's, ever it's, used sauce on a hash brown before. No, I love ketchup with ha- hash brown. <laughs> it's like, it's just like fries. That actually <laughs> makes so much sense. I don't know why I never thought yeah, to do why, that. Yeah, it's literally fries. No, that's why, that's why hash yeah. browns are perfect because they don't need fucking ketchup <laughs> in them. They don't okay. need anything. I mean, they're the good just by themselves. doesn't need any I condiments. Admit, I will admit, of the, of the breakfast menu, the sausage McMuffin is the best one. All other items are red herrings. You should not order them. People Look. who get the bacon one, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. It is not a good item. It that, tastes that is like just shit. the inferior one. No, it tastes bad. All yeah. I'm saying is that uh, you could just remove every menu item from McDonald's, aside from the breakfast menu and McFlurries, and I will be very happy. No, I, I, I wouldn't be. I, 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 I can live about. my life. What the? I, fuck I would are you be saying? able. I think I would actually prefer that, knowing that the uh, breakfast menu was whoa. available all day. It is all in America. Times. In America, only in America. But though. that ruins the mystique of the breakfast menu. The, the the reason why the breakfast menu is so good is because you happen to wake up with the boys, and you you happen to be at McDonald's <laughs> the boys. at nine fifty five a.m. and you're like, guys. <laughs> We can make it. Yeah, we can do it. The golden five. Yeah, minute. you're like we. Well, it's eleven, right? Eleven it ends, right? I don't fuck. I, I'm not sure what time Japan, but in the UK, I think it's eleven. Anyway, you yeah. ma- you've made it in time to experience the double McMuffin. The, I think the only <laughs> I think the only time I've ever ordered a McDonald's breakfast is when I've stayed out all night to the point I've lo- missed the last train, and it's like five in the morning, and I'm like, I guess I'll go get McDonald's. That's you know, the only time I've gotten it. You know, but, part of the reason I think this- Or if is, I'm on a fucking road trip with Chris. Yeah, Chris, of, Chris part, is a McDonald's fan. Yeah. yeah, part of the reason I think this is um, maybe, maybe this is a hot take. I don't know if it is because, you know, um, I just don't think McDonald's is that good anymore. I don't know. Wait, sin- wait anymore as in like I since when? I don't agree Since I was take. a kid. I don't agree I with think I've take. just grown up. Like I- I remember, like, I had this point. You got uh, fucking edgeless pizza there. What you want? About? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Look, I don't know if something about me has changed, <laughs> but every every time I've ordered McDonald's, like, within the past four or five years, yeah. I have this mental image about how it tastes when I was a kid, and then I take a bite. Okay, did you have McDonald's like birthday parties? Uh, I don't know if I had McDonald's birthday party, but like, so then I, how do you- You'd remember if you had a McDonald's Yeah, you, you you'd would remember. remember. That'd be a, that's a canon event. Yeah. Okay. I, the kid's life. I think I went to McDonald's birthday parties, but right, I never right. had well, one that's for myself. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah, so yeah. I went to McDonald's birthday parties, but yeah, I mean like, I fucking love McDonald's, obviously as a kid, teenager, it's mm-hmm, just the comfort mm-hmm. food. And you know what? You know what ruined me with McDonald's? Ironically enough, I think America ruined me. Cause oh, like the bad. American McDonald's, yeah, it is bad. no, no, not just the American McDonald's, but America, just America in general. Just America <laughs> eating American fast food and and tasting how good fast food can be in America. Ever since I had that like awakening of just oh. like, oh, what's the golden standard of fast food? Oh, this is what this is what fast food should what, taste what, like. Okay. Yeah, what's the golden what's standard? the golden standard for you? Fast food. Like what's, what's the, the best the, fast food the American fast food, joint? Yeah. Go. Best fast food American joint. Even just going to somewhere like I don't know. Uh, I know Five Guys isn't in the same realm, but just, casual. but just like it's Culver's, uh, you know, any kind of like, any kind of like, like not burger necessarily joint. a burger joint, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm also thinking about places like Chick-fil-A and you know, yeah, other yeah, like yeah. fast food establishments. Sure. Ever since I had 
the ceiling, that, like the taste of that. Ever since then, after, after then, I've tried ordering McDonald's and that magic's just gone. I, every time I'd order nugs, uh, I'm thinking, no, Oh, you're fuck. getting nuggets? What's wrong with nuggets are awful. I like the nuggets. Why? <laughs> They're like the most tasteless piece of rubber in your life. <laughs> yeah, ever since I've tasted American fast food, I've gone back to like, I've just not craved McDonald's at like anymore, except for McDonald's breakfast, which is still goaded. Nah, I, I am I completely bias fucking happy. I, I, every now and then I get the craving to get a double okay. cheeseburger or a Big Mac. Every now and then I'm just like, I can't shake it up. There is nothing else right now that will satisfy that need than a double cheeseburger or a Big Mac. All right, okay. It just doesn't taste that good. It, I love it. It, it doesn't It, it doesn't taste, it, it kind of like blew my mind to realize, shit, I've been programmed to like this stuff because I liked it as a kid. And then I have like, I actually bite down to have a taste and I'm like, fuck, I don't think this tastes as good as I remember it. I don't know, man. I don't want to hear this coming from the guy who put the edge from Pizza Hut on his list. Bro, okay. I, I love the saying. fucking double cheeseburgers at McDonald's. Oh, dude, so they're so good. Okay, explain the fucking edge. What the fuck is this? Come on. Okay. What is this? Um, okay, obviously, obviously, it was my introduction to realize pizza that hut? crustless yeah, pizza. Yeah, it's Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut? Yeah. Okay. I will say, I. Pizza Hut. No. No, do not defend no. Pizza Hut. Wait, 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 wait. What are wait. you saying? Okay. Man? To to completely just disregard my previous argument about McDonald's and like childhood <laughs> memories and all that yeah. shit. Pizza Hut just has this certain smell no, <laughs> that no, no other no, pizza no, joint no. can like. Yeah, it has the smell of Shit. like day old kitchen grease. Uh, that's that's can, what it has. You know what I mean? Uh, like, I love like, it when my 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 pizza I can break it over my leg. No, 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 no. Like you know how Subway has that smell? Like mm. whenever you walk, it's it's such like of an iconic bread. smell. <laughs> no, it's not iconic. I know. No, it, I mean, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not. It is stale when you go there, but like it smells well. Got a good smell. It smells way better than it tastes. Right? Sure, sure. To me, like to me, no other pizza joint, like the kind of like mainstream pizza joint, no other mainstream pizza joint has that unique smell except for Pizza Hut. I don't know what it is, but all, pizza all of them have their own unique smell. I, See, I don't understand this because I think I was one of those weird kids who never got like chain pizzas. Like uh, I never, like my parents never ordered from like Pizza no, Hut or Domino's. Like my either. dad made pizzas. Like, yeah, every we, we never got them. So like, I don't know this, like, I don't have any like nostalgia with like Pizza Hut or Domino's. Okay, I did because like, uh, you know, when, when I was growing up a broke ass kid, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> like they, I can't remember what day it was, but one day of the week they would do like all you can eat pizzas yeah, at Pizza yeah, Hut. Yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. Was, yeah. that was like my pizza intake for the yeah, month. Yeah, it's a UK thing. I, <laughs> yeah, I went yeah. as well. I that's like, crazy. Yeah. I did like that a lot. And, they, and that's how I got Pizza Hut pilled. And then I grew up and I was like, wait, this is the worst. This is the <laughs> worst of all the pizza chains. What's the best one? In the UK, I, some people say Papa John's. But I think Domino's in the UK is really good. Right, right. I think, Domino's I, 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 think I think they're all really good. I'm not really like to me, Sometimes like, I, th I think taste wise, I prefer Papa John's, I, but sometimes I just get that craving for a pizza. I, just, I get that craving for just that, the whiff of but, that but smell, it's like, it's whatever like your, that Pizza Hut smell of is, all man. all pizzas, the fucking Pizza Hut edge is <laughs> in your top nine. Yes, That's it is. Psychotic. I dream about this shit, man. What? You know why? It's unobtainable anymore because- You that, can make this. No, 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 your judgment it, because it's it, unavailable. It, you it, think it's better than it was. I, this is shit, I, it's shit. I, because we, we there are pizzas that are like this, that you know are available, which is kind of like yeah. the crossless pizzas. Yeah. But I, I've been searching every time I I look for I'm in America. I see this kind of pizza, and I'm like, this is gonna be the one. This yeah. is gonna be the one that gives me back the memories again. This sure. is gonna be really relive my childhood. But it's missing that smell. It's missing that oh Pizza Hut smell of just whatever that Pizza <laughs> Hut smell. I'm pretty sure they just you know sprinkle this with like happiness. And okay, well, that's not true. <laughs> and angel dust. Or the sadness of underpaid staff. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, must be what that, that must be what it is. Like but Pizza Hut in recent years is just a sad shell of what it was. And even when it was at its peak, it wasn't very good either. Yeah, Pizza Hut fell off. Bro. Um, just not Did it good. fall off? Yeah. yeah I think it might totally. have fallen off. In the I, US especially. Do you know why it fell off? Because they got rid of this off their menu. <laughs> no. if, once they bring the edge back, Back to West here, baby. Bring back the cold classic. Yeah, <laughs> but- off because it's shit. <laughs> I mean, like to me, obviously I'm going to enjoy a crustless pizza, but um, also just- Well, like, yeah, okay. So, so are you saying the only difference between this Pizza Hut edge and every other crustless pizza 
is that every other crustless pizza is not made by Pizza Hut. Is that what you're saying? Pretty much. Uh, what, yeah. also, also, what I can't fathom is that we had this whole big fucking deal about how I said American pizza was better than Italian pizza, and here you are putting a fucking American style pizza on your nine by nine best foods of all time. When you looked me in the face and lied to me about saying that the other style of pizza was superior. I mean, how it, do you apologize? Italy just hasn't come around how do you apologize to, to the Italians, guys? Look, look, look. I am putting something on here that is like, to me, if they brought this back, I will happily admit that American pizza. Oh, is oh but it's not obtainable anymore, okay? <laughs> dying, it lives off fighting. in the dreams of my childhood, okay? It, it's like waiting for the second coming of Christ. Yeah, yeah. Look, you are like, it's like it'll happen one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were like preposterous. How could he even consider American pizza be better than the superior? It'll happen Napoleon one day, and pizza. when that day comes, I will be a believer again. <laughs> Your like, allegiances you know, are paper bi- thin, God. The Bible could drop a sequel, and I'd be like, and Pizza Hut could drop the edge, like a rerun of the edge, and I'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Your all right. Bible two. Italians, Bible two. All Italians, right. Italians, do you hear this? This man didn't care about your pizza. He wanted something better this entire time. He was hoping the Americans Look, would swoop in and save still, the day. I still Look, stand pizza by your Italians. Please, Don't worry. Please, just just re-release the edge, please. Yo, oh. I thought you were gonna be like pizza. Please sponsor us. <laughs> what what no, you're just saying? Just give me back. You know, I don't need. Like, I know it kind of recently had a rerun in America and I was dumb enough to not fly to America to just relive that dream. And I regret that every moment of my life. But hypothetical, if you did, right? Hypothetically, you flew back hearing about the edge two coming back, right? (laughs) The edge two, (laughs) (laughs) the edging. Uh, You know, you hear that it came back, right? And you buy it, all right? And you're expecting all the nostalgia to flow back. What if it's not the same? It will be the same. But what if it's not? Uh, what if there's just something about the the recent Pizza Hut as opposed to your childhood? Yeah, and what if the Earth is flat, Joey? It's not. Why you ask me? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why, why you ask me a hypoth- uh, hypothetical? Yeah, question but would about- you still love it? Huh? Would you still love it? Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> you're in full cope mode, dude. <laughs> I can't believe you. I have no doubt that I will love this exactly the same. Oh my Lord. Absolutely not. But there's no way to prove it because they're never going to bring it back until they do, until they do. And then- Hey, if if Trash Taste fans put enough peer pressure on Pizza Hut. (laughs) So what I'm hearing is that If they do, I will actually like just fly to America. I'll I'll look for like a- Hashtag hashtag bring back the edge. Yeah, I'll look for an excuse to visit like Sid's family and they'll be like, okay, but the real reason I'm here is- (laughs) (laughs) Don't you just like- Mom, dad, take me to Pizza Hut. Isn't right it, now. Isn't it, um, which style of pizza is it? Red Square. Um, is it Chicago style pizza? No, that's- d- Yeah, is Chicago it, style it's the square pizza. one? No, it's Detroit, right? Am I crazy? Chicago? Chicago yeah, style pizza. Yeah, they have pizza. the square one where the middle, yeah, the middle pieces are like- Edge. Edge. This. Yeah, it's the edge. There's no, no crust. Yeah. It's just the middle. No, 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 but you don't understand. It's not made by pizza. Yeah, it's not made by pizza. Oh my God. That's the whole point we're getting at. That's why this is stupid. This yeah. is so fucking dumb. This is dumb. <laughs> your, your list is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, uh, chocolate and egg form. Chocolate. Okay. Yeah. Chocolate egg, egg form. form. Explain this. What the fuck? I kind of understand no. where you're coming from. <laughs> <laughs> I hate to admit, I kind of get where you're coming from with this. I don't know why. I don't it just get it. like explain it to me. Okay. So sometimes a chocolate bar is just way too fucking much. I just. <laughs> I just. I just just like a chocolate in Shit, buff. Why do I relate to this? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a chocolate in buff. And like, here's the thing. It has to be a hollow egg. So I've had like completely solid chocolate eggs. Where the fuck have you gotten solid eggs from? Oh, they make like this kind of the smaller the ones. Small? That have, yeah, like, the caramel caramel like, you don't know, get that fucking size. That's like yeah, half yeah. the global chocolate supply. Yeah. That was not hollow. I don't know. I'd, like to me, an egg is just the best way to present chocolate. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't like, there's just something that's just- I just have really good memories of Easter time. <laughs> Yeah, right. You know, and I, 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 like I don't even like- All I can think about is a fucking TikTok of that sculpting chocolate guy where he makes like the cock and then he sculpts it into like a bird, but it's like a full on dick for like one part. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly yeah, what you're you pull talking it up. about. You show chocolate cock sculpture, the the TikTok guy. I don't know what it's, I don't know what the fuck yeah, I don't, I, It's always like whenever he sculpts something, it's always like cock shaped until yeah. it's not. It just starts off like, whoa, like, whoa, oh wait, it's an eagle. Oh yeah, of course, of course I knew it was <laughs> what is Pe- this? Penis lat. No, so Artwork up. made of chocolate. Yeah, yeah, go to one more. Yeah. Uh, maybe click that Reddit one. Uh, yeah. What it? Yeah, it's this yeah, fucking yeah. guy. It's, it's always, this, it's always the this fucking guy. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one. This is yeah. the one that looks like a dick. <laughs> yeah, look at this shot. <laughs> 
Wait, 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 let me oh, see no, this. no, check this out. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so it's a, okay. All right. oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He knew exactly what he was doing. But he's making it's a like, snake. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I knew, okay. I knew there was a snake. I knew it was a snake the entire time. I knew it was a snake too. Yeah, that makes sense. Holy yeah. fuck, that's impressive. I would have ended up better if it was a cock. If it was a yeah, massive if, cock. If it was actually a cock. Anyway, yeah, back, back to the, sorry, this is just what my yeah, brain yeah, yeah, thought. Yeah, we're distracted by chocolate cocks. All right. Yeah, all right. All right. Uh, oh, this is a dragon. I thought it was going to be the eagle. Um, yeah. Uh, sorry, penis cock. Uh, that's <laughs> penis cock. Um, I, I was. I was like. Do you mean chocolate I was, like, cock? Try, I was like trying. I was like trying to. Oh yes. So, so you're my saying mind, everything is better in egg form. Now explain your logic for that because I don't understand this. this okay. Notion. So like, I, it's like when it's in egg form, it's just the perfect thickness. Okay. It's it's. Sometimes you bite into like a chocolate bar mm -hmm. and it's just too fucking much. It's just like way too hard. It's too much mm. chocolate to chew for, to chew through. But with what like- What are you fucking 90 with dentures? What are you talking about? But with like- No, a no, it's like, it's too, it's too much sweetness all at once, yeah. right? It's but too with, much with, chocolate. With like a chocolate I, I egg, you can just break it off and it's just like, Break it off into nice little bite sized It's like pieces. eating potato chips. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. Like it's like the perfect size and shape and thinness. You know, you can get like little little bags, right? Of like mini chocolates. So you can have like little like bite sized chocolates. No, right? no, 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 but no, that, no. that's still too thick. It needs to be like, huh? like it needs to be it's like- It's the idea that you can just break it off. Like yes, that. it's like just nice and thin and you could just break it off like a bigger piece. And it's just, it's just so much more fun. Also it makes well. the best noises when Most, you yeah. bite into like it. Like a lot of chocolate bars. There are a lot of thin chocolate bars out there. Um, that exists. They're not egg shaped. They're not egg shaped. They're not, they're not egg shaped. Like it doesn't- the fuck is the egg shape? Also it's that weird. childhood joy when you got one of those massive ones during the Easter and you just like, can I break it? Yeah. Can I smash it? It's... And they're doing that. <laughs> yeah. Still fun as an adult. Wait, okay, what the wait, fuck? Wait. You how'd... smash it? Wait, wait, yeah. how, how'd you eat an Easter egg? Well, like like a regular size Easter egg? Yeah, okay. So you, you get like a large Easter egg, right? Like like how big are we talking? Uh, Like kind of like, kind of kind of like, you know, kind of like this size. Oh, that where, size? Where it's not like bite size, but yeah. it's like, one of one of like the larger ones at the supermarket. Okay. Right? Uh, do you do you take like a first bite or do you break it? Oh, I break it. You break it. Yeah. Do you smash the whole thing? Oh yeah. What? That was my favorite thing, dude. When I was a kid, I used to get my sister to hold the egg as I'd fucking like punch it in like what? that, and that what was the, the most fuck? fun. That was the most fun You're thing ever. You're a barbarian. Ever. It's so you, fun. You were meant to like make a little indent and slowly chip away at it. No. What's the fun in that? Because it keeps the form of the egg. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna eat it all in a day. Yeah, but then you can buy, you can snap it into sizes that are preferable instead of having crumbs everywhere. Because the worst part of the egg, which is why I don't I don't agree with this take, is that more often than not. It just ends up like crumbling or little fucking crumble pieces in oh, the egg. I fucking love though. Oh, because fucking because hate that. you know then you can fucking Oh I'd love <laughs> I'd love my microscopic bites of chocolate. Oh it's great. It's it's no, like it's not great. It's like, it's it's like, like microdosing on chocolate. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> because because like when you get to the end of the egg, you have like this little pile of like chocolate crumbs and you just like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I hate that. I don't, I don't want- I don't, I'm totally it's, on board it's, with it. It's, it's I'm not like, like a little, Oliver Twist. I don't want fucking crumbs of chocolate. I'm totally on it's, board it's with like, it. It's like a little extra. It's it, you, you, it's similar to like- It's I guess. the equivalent of cleaning off the potato chip bag. Exactly, that. that's you it. Know, that's, that's the it. best part. Yeah. I don't know. Like this is just to me, the best way to present chocolates. If I could just go without a chocolate bar and just be sold chocolate Easter eggs all year round. I would buy the Easter egg. Okay, what kind of way. what kind of chocolate are we talking about? Are we just talking like dairy chocolate, white chocolate, dark chocolate? What's your favorite? I mean, I'm I'm like a basic bitch. I just just give me like dairy milk chocolate. Dairy milk. What um, I prefer dark chocolate. I I prefer dark chocolate. I also like white chocolate. I know it's not chocolate technically, but I do mm. like it a lot. Mm. But to me, like to me to me, white chocolate and dark chocolate, like that. They're completely different things to me, right? To me, okay. I, it's just okay, controversial okay. to whom? Okay, no, no. They, I, I guess. How, how can I? How can I? Explain yeah, I was gonna this? say because you're, you're saying it like that, cause they are different things. I was like, that's crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, they inhabit different moods that, like, I, I yeah, crave like, them, okay. but yeah. like, it's it's only it's in like fine. certain situations. Sure, dark sure. chocolate. I want to have at the end of a meal, maybe with like, yeah. coffee. Yeah, I don't want to. I never want to have a ton of chocolate though. I just don't ever want to eat a full Yeah, bar. to me, I can have like milk chocolate anytime, any mood. I've had whatever. a Toblerone in my fridge for the past year and I've, I, every month I take a-, a See, that's out. the problem with Toblerones. I fucking love Toblerones. They're too thick. Uh, yeah, yeah, they are. I they do, are. Well, I mean- I, If we had Toblerone in egg form, I'd destroy that in a day. Holy shit, you're so right, Joey. I would destroy in that egg, in a day. If it's in egg form, Toblerone. I can eat Toblerone all day long. Toblerone every eggs, day. where are they? <laughs> 
Yeah, because the ruins chocolate the itself, whole, the whole point of the Toblerone. But the chocolate itself is so banger. Yeah, if we had that exact it's, it's same ba- flavor, I'm gonna blow your mind. In it's, egg form, it's banger because it's thick, and they can fit a lot of little shit in there. No, 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 no. no, no, no. There's, the, there's not understand. thickness in the eggs. There's no, like there's egg. not. You just were saying how they need to be thin. So now let's. Which one? We're not talking like paper thin. We're talking like not a fucking. It's full like brick. it's always like the perfect thickness. You know, yeah. it's it's the perfect thickness of chocolate, which um, is not like paper thin. You know, I there's, don't there's agree. still some texture to it. There's still you know you still get like the chocolate enough chocolate yeah. flavor, yeah. but it's just not overwhelming. Yeah, you know it's. Chocolate eggs, <laughs> best way to present chocolate. Agreed. Uh, All right, this is fucking lasagna shit. <laughs> Lasagna's just the best pasta. I, mean, I, I disagree with it's, that. It's, I, just, it's just the best I, pasta. I feel like I'm being contrary on purpose. I, I actually just don't think that's the best pasta. What's the best pasta? Um, I hate to say this, but I think like, as I've gotten older, lasagna has been slowly going down my ranks of pasta mm. tier list. Because to me, it's like, it's almost- Don't, like, don't say some like bougie shit like gnocchi. No, I don't like gnocchi that much. <laughs> Gnocchi's too starchy. Yeah. Uh, I think lasagna to me is like, almost as I get older, is closer to like pizza and like deep dish than it is to like traditional pasta. You're saying um, that like it's a bad thing. Well, no, I mean, it, it's like, but it, I think like lasagna is far, far more far removed from pasta than I initially envisioned it mm. being. Um, yeah, I kind of agree with that. It was my favorite when I was a kid. Yeah, because it was like pizza. It's, yeah, it's like, it's like pizza. pizza. But like, I mean, I, they, yeah. They just kind of like- It's layered improve, pizza it's, with like yeah, that's, that's what, no that, crusts, that's which I, I suppose fucking is why love. you like it. Yeah, which that's is why, why I fucking love it. This is like, in, lasagna is basically it's like- deep improved, dish without the crust. It's improved <laughs> pizza. You know, it's everything I look for. I do, uh, I do, I do want to preface, I, I do love lasagna, but mm. I do actually just think I prefer traditional pasta. So what's your favorite? more. Oh, well, we'll get into that later. Oh, okay. You, you have it on your later. list. All right, all right. All right. Bet. Uh, I mean, this one is kind of Do we like have to talk s- about chicken wings? This one is uh, self-explanatory. Everyone likes chicken wings. Bone in or bone out, everyone likes it. How much do you like it though? Do chicken you, wings? Yeah. Because I, mean, I, I, I will say this, mm-hmm. like every time- to- <laughs> uh, Chicken, okay, for me, chicken wings is one of those things I don't necessarily crave, but if it's on the table, I will devour it. I'm I'm, I'm gonna fucking be honest. I kind of died a little on the tour that we did uh. because uh, every fucking time we did not get chicken wings once and we got chicken <laughs> tendies. Every, every Oh, the fucking, US tour, right? The yeah, US yeah. tour. No, 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 there were, there were a few times we had the- When? On the bus, I remember. There were a few times where we ordered fucking bone in because you wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. <laughs> I do. Uh, I, 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 I like it's like, all right, we'll get the fucking bone in for gone because he's bitching about this too much. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I can understand this one. I think I was close to putting uh, wings on mine. I like wings a lot. Obviously, I, yeah. I like boneless chicken doesn't like yeah. a lot and my allegiance is more closely aligned mm. with boneless, but I do love wings. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, to me, like beer, bone in- Gone combo. Bone in wings. Uh, I was trying to think if I had like a singular flavor that I liked because I remember I, I was like, my mom always cooked these like Thai chicken wings. And I think that's where my love of wings came from. Mm. Where I think I've just, I, I like it got to the point where I think I ate wings at least once a week Damn. for like for like my entire childhood. Not so, a bad childhood at J- all. Japan needs to absolutely stop up. They need to stop putting hormones in the chickens because this, this shit is so weak, bro. It's like you get like- It depends qu- where you go though. You get a quarter of a bite on a chicken. Have here. you been to Yamachan chicken? Yeah, but they're tiny. Yeah, but you get, you get like a lot. You do you get, get a lot, shit load. but it's like Japan, you literally you like. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I'm done. Japan uh, does need to level up their chicken game a little bit. It's because they, they don't put. But it But I bones. think like America yeah. <laughs> also like they they're, they're, their wings are bit. too. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they are stuffing their, their wings like, way too much. The reason that wings are my favorite part of the chicken out of everything is because to me wings have like the perfect skin to meat ratio. A lot of the time. Mm. Yeah, to I me, agree with that. Yeah, with like that. like, yeah, like to that. me, the the most important part of the wings to me is the flavoring of the skin. Cause that's where most of the flavoring comes from. Okay, yeah. And then the meat is kind of like the, enhancer. let's say, yeah, the, the enhancer okay. to that. Sure. Uh, but to me, the, the main star of the wings are uh, the skin. And even on like fucking thighs, you have the skin, which is there, but there's like so much meat. So you're like, mm. you, you enjoy, you enjoy the skin and you're like, fuck. All right, I gotta, I got, I gotta finish this meat now. You know, I, get, sure, I, I, sure. I, I gotta finish this meat. Yeah. Um, yeah, when you order like ten wings in Japan versus ten wings in America, one will not fill me up at all, and the other will make me obese. Both. Yeah, <laughs> I'll, I'll be so full. Yeah. So, like, to me, to me, wings has just been like a staple of my childhood, mm. and I'm discovering, like, to me, I think 
Korean wings are my favorite now. Uh, that's okay. the They're phase I'm going through. They're okay. definitely uh, up there for me. I think Korean fried chicken is the best fried chicken in the world. I agree. Uh, just the way they fry it and the batter and just the they flavors. Do fried chicken really got <sighs> The yum yum so, sauce, bro. Oh. oh. No, I, like, I like honey, honey garlic soy sauce. Oh, the honey garlic is good too. Honey garlic is so good. Honey garlic oh, soy sure. sauce. This episode of Trash Chase is sponsored by Vessies. Guys, if you didn't know, if mm. we didn't have Vessies, we would not survive mm. at mm. all. Mm. We would literally mm. die. If you look at any picture of us in the past few years, you will notice that we are all and always wearing Vessies. That's right. We love Vessies so much. So it's so awesome to hear that Vessies is coming out with some brand new stuff, guys. Woo! Finally, some new footwear I can put on my feet. For example, look at these. Beautiful pair of shoes right here. Wait, those the Soho's? They're 100% oh. waterproof, I heard, also made with advanced materials, ensuring your feet remaining dry in all weather conditions. And they also have a gusted tongue with Dymatex technology that incorporates the latest in footwear technology. And guys, it is winter right now, but I am sweating. I am sweating because this overcast coat I'm wearing is just so- Too good. Good. The overcast coat is 100% waterproof and has a stretchy shell with an interior soft fleece oh, lining, ensuring for added warmth on those chilly days. But Connor, I see an even- drippy a pair of shoes right well, now. What is that? Uh, Howie, I'm glad you asked. These are the Alta. They are 100% winter essential, tailored for winter, with extra grippy <sighs> soles and a cozy fleece lining inside, ensuring your feet oh. always stay warm in the coldest conditions. But Joey, what's that you got on your hands? Oh, these? These are the Vessi waterproof gloves. That's Ooh. right. They don't just do footwear, they do handwear as well to make sure your little fingies stay warm in this winter. Joey, I have no idea where to go if I want all of this. <laughs> Don't worry, Connor. All you have to do is go to vessi.com slash trash taste. That's vessi.com slash trash taste. Links in the description. You can get all of these and a whole lot more. Thank you very much, Vessi, for sponsoring this episode. Back to the video. All right, oh, so bro, specifically salmon. Why? Okay, I, I, I kind of had this realization. The where... least Japanese sushi of all time. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I kind of had this realization where um, out of every Japanese dish that I thought I would eat, the only thing I consistently eat now um, as like a comfort food that I'm constantly craving is sushi. I don't mm. really go out to eat ramen. Mm. Uh, you know, I, I fucking love so many Japanese dishes, but the only one I like, I f view as a comfort food, probably sushi. Mm. I don't really like high-end sushi places because they don't normally serve salmon. <laughs> And I realized, oh. I realized the reason I love going to conveyor belt sushi is because everything I order revolves around salmon nigiri. Honestly, oh honestly, conveyor belt sushi gets too much of a bad rep. Like, I don't know why. Conveyor belt sushi is bossing. It's I actually, fucking good. I actually way prefer conveyor belt sushi than high end sushi. Places. I mean, high end sushi places do just taste different. Um, hmm. It's whether or not you prefer one over the other. I mean, I like, like if I went to a high-end sushi place, I really like it. But uh, if I go to like sushi or something, I I'll fucking, I'll, I'll go down with the salmon and mozzarella fucking thing they do. <sighs> I'm like, that's pretty fire. Okay, here's- It's not sushi, but it's good. Here's mm -hmm. the question. How much wasabi did you put on it? Zero. Oh, because like a hundred. I don't put any, I hate wasabi. I, cause yeah. like, I, I think the reason I prefer conveyor belt sushi is because I can like just soak that shit in. I can just soak it's, that soy sauce in wasabi uh, and just I'm just- fucking- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, okay, okay, first of all, first of all, are we, are we talking about uh, wasabi when you get it like the, the fresh stuff? Cause it tastes totally different to like the horseradish wasabi. You're not gonna get the fresh shit at oh, sushi, right? No, I know. So we're talking shit. about, okay, we're talking about the horseradish now. Yeah, yeah, we're not yeah. talking about wasabi, we're talking yeah. about horseradish essentially, yeah, yeah. right? I, yeah, horseradish for me, it's, it's like, I don't know if it's like a genetic thing or what, but for me, it's like a gas attack on my like <laughs> thing. It feels like it's just unpleasant. It's mm. not, I, there's no flavor part of it that I enjoy. And I really want to like it. Cause like it goes well with sushi, right? Mm -hmm. It's everyone tells you. Yeah. But uh, for me, it's just like, it's such a harsh uh, pungent like flavor that I can't do it. Uh, but Dude, when, I, but, I put but, so much, my shit turns green. But fresh, <laughs> from the, the fresh wasabi, it's like, it's much more mild. It's it, it it tastes a lot different. Oh yeah, it's yeah. real Way wasabi nicer. is not even I, I, same ball. That's not even the same That's something you're trying to be bougie. They are just ex, they are actually just two different things. No, totally. They're, one of them is not wasabi. Yeah, yeah. I prefer uh, totally. the horseradish. Yeah, I mean that's fair. Like yeah, I yeah. wouldn't, I wouldn't. I, I that's crazy to me. Cause, but, cause, yeah, <laughs> I, I, wow. I like the horseradish, but I definitely prefer real wasabi. It's it's like uh you know like every time I go to like a high end sushi place, they always have like the perfect kind of balance between fish, uh, rice, and just like the amount of wasabi, and mm. it's like nicely balanced. Yeah, I love that. But sometimes I just want to gas myself. 
I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I just like the feeling of just. And I feel like, yeah. <laughs> I feel like a drug addict a little bit. Like every time I have like. Yeah, it all comes I, here. I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah. I hate people call it spicy. Oh. Cause I'm like, this is it's, not, it's not spice. spicy. Yeah, it is, no. it is not, it is shares no it's, similar it's not, feeling. It's, yeah. it's just, it's an impact. Yeah, no, yeah. To, yeah. To, to me, this is like the uh, adult equivalent of like, you know, if, if you are a person that's, uh, you know, you like putting a shit ton of wasabi on your sushi and just being gassed. That's crazy to me it's, that you like salmon with a shit ton of horseradish. Yeah. It's I, I like, fucking love it. It's kind of like, like the adult- Chutoro exists. And, uh, yeah, yeah Chutoro like, with wasabi as well is great. Yeah, but like Chutoro is way better. Chutoro than is like, I can only have one. You know? Yeah, what about like normal Toro? Huh? Like normal, like normal, normal like, like Akami, half, like regular yeah, tuna? Like, like, Akami is, I don't know. Some, salmon just has like that perfect crazy. balance to me. I mean, uh, it's not even my favorite. Yeah, personally. yeah. I know, like to, to me, it's like the equivalent, you know, doing the wasabi thing. It's like the equivalent of like sniffing markers as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that. Except huh? hopefully there aren't any like detrimental health results. Yeah. But one makes oh, you man. dumb as shit. <laughs> yeah. The other is the other wasabi. Like, <laughs> the other one is socially acceptable. Yeah. I, I you know, that's I, I think that's kind of why I like wasabi. You know? Okay. Yeah, it's a little wild. <laughs> maybe but, uh, maybe I'm a glue sniffer. I don't sure. fucking know. Uh, um, I certainly okay. was. But yeah, specifically like every sushi trip revolves around how much salmon sushi can I order? that seems socially acceptable to balance out with the rest, hey, fair. <laughs> with the rest of That's the sushi. That's fair, man. I do think the, like I said, that the, sushi does this mozzarella salmon thing. It's actually fire. Really? You should try it. It's I haven't made a sushi in apparently a while. Apparently it's so like, on Chris's video, apparently sushi is saying it's like one of the most popular items in the menu. Wow. Do, it's it's not sushi. It's, it's salmon, rice, mozzarella, and then basil dressing. Yeah, Ooh, that sounds good. It's, it's actually, it's, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, damn. That's like a carpaccio, yeah. dude. All yeah, I can it, say it is, is essentially yeah. carpaccio with rice. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. All I can say is thank you, Norwegians, for introducing salmon yeah. to the Japanese. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you're <laughs> single-handedly feeding the Japanese. <laughs> you've uh, made the per you, you've made the dish even better, in my opinion, because oh, uh, yeah. you don't normally get sushi uh, salmon. Uh, sorry, uh, salmon sushi in high-end sushi restaurants. Yeah. Our ribs. <sighs> Or uh, just, or just American barbecue in general. Yeah, this is American ribs. barbecue or ribs. Okay, okay. This is definitely going to be a hot take. You got to pick one. Okay, uh, definitely ribs. I think brisket is overrated. Yeah, brisket is overrated. I'm gonna say it too. I think uh, it's overrated. Explain to me what exactly is a brisket. Uh, fuck. That's a great question. Because I always get confused. What exactly is a brisket? What what <sighs> constitutes as a brisket? Um, I actually don't. I couldn't tell you what a brisket is. I, but I think I, I know it's a I get part. It. I think it's a part of like the we are uneducated. Cow. Yeah, we are. We are definitely yeah. uneducated. But because I don't think I had this growing you've had, up. You, no, no. This is like a. No, no, if you've been to like an American restaurant, uh, brisket is normally one of the comes from the lower breast parts. or pectoral muscles of the cow. Yeah. So normally this is the one oh, that I it's smoked the most. Um, yeah. My, my, my issue, and I've started having this now with, um, I love American barbecue, mm. but the, I don't know if this is because I'm getting older. Uh, the reliance on needing an ungodly amount of sauce is starting to turn me off. Because uh, <laughs> brisket needs sauce. Like right. if, if you have it on its own, it is, it, it is too much. Uh, it needs to be mellowed out with a bunch of sauces. It's... And in America, my God, they're way too sweet. They load it up with the sweetest goddamn barbecue sauce. Uh... I mean, yeah, if you go to like Kansas City. Yeah, I know. Like, I know that's I why know. That's why I love Texas barbecue is because it doesn't always rely on that sauce. There's like the dry rub as well, which plays into it. I, I will say Texas barbecue, I think it's fucking goaded. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah it's goaded, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ribs is, I, yeah, but I, I also liked Kansas City barbecue more, which is sweeter traditionally. But I yeah. like the rib. Rib is my favorite part. I will say. Rib, ribs mm. is my favorite part. But I, like, I think I just like smoked meat. I don't know something about that woody Dude. taste. That you know, I, I think America. <laughs> what a controversial opinion. I think America loves to claim they do a lot of the things the best, like fried chicken, like um, pizza, hot dogs. They do barbecue the best. I give um, but I give I, one thing I will defend them on is their barbecues are the best. Yeah. American bar Americans, you did oh, barbecues, right? Yeah, and get, I will like down a, the hill. You get a platter, you get like fucking mac and cheese, you yeah. get beans, beans, and beans. then you get like two things, you get like, you get ribs. Yeah. Uh, burnt ends are okay. Depends how- oh, Burnt ends are great. Depends how, depends how, yeah. how much, how, how much sauce I can handle. Yeah, out of, out of everything, I think brisket is my least favorite just because it is, it is a bit too much. I, I, I never have like ate, eaten like, I, me I remember the first time I actually felt like 
sick after eating a barbecue was when I was in Texas and I had the brisket. It was specifically the brisket because right. it was like so fatty. And- uh, Yeah, when it's too fatty. When oh. it's like when it's like too fatty. And this is like, it's not the same kind of fatty as like Wagyu beef kind of fatty. Mm, it's yeah. like a different kind of fatty. Um, this was like more than like 10 McDonald's hash browns put together, <laughs> kind of like oily fatty. Yeah, yeah, some of them are a bit too oily. I mean, I, my statement earlier, I said like, oh, I'm getting older, don't like it. I still love it, but I, yeah. I find that I'm craving it less and less. Right, yeah. yeah. But, but I, I, I still like, if I'm in America, the one thing I always want is American barbecue. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite restaurants in Tokyo is an American barbecue yeah, You place. always go there. <laughs> yeah, uh, because I, I always crave it, man. I'm like- Is that the one in Harajuku? Yeah, it's the one yeah, in Harajuku. Yeah, 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 the smokehouse, right? Oh, I fucking that love that. That place is Yeah, I found an American barbecue place near my house and I go there. Like, there's a lot of places to do sheesh. it. Yeah, there's, 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 there's a lot of places now. I so need, I need a beer to go with it. That's I need, what I love. I, need the beer. I love. I have to have beer with it's it. Getting, it's getting a nice beer with an American barbecue. Oh, I just taste I can, free. I can, I can understand this being on the getting list. Hungry. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. allow it. I won't give yeah, you too yeah, much yeah. shit for this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ribs are great, man. I fucking, great. I just- My only complaint of ribs is you either always get too much or too little. <laughs> uh, in America, it's always too much. In America, it's always too much. In Japan, you're like, really? Ten dollars for one rib? Yeah. Are yeah. you fucking kidding me? So would, yeah. you, would you like a rack of two or a rack of twenty? So no in between. Dude, I'm not kidding. A rack of ribs in Japan, like a full rack, is like sixty dollars. It's insane. Yeah. It's yeah. for like a for like a good like American style done well. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. I'm just like wondering, does any other cuisine focus on smoked meats? Like I'm trying, I'm trying no, to think. There must be, but we're, we're probably dumb enough. We're pro I'm probably dumb, and I've never tasted it before. But yeah, this this just has such an advantage to me, just because mm. I don't know why. You know, specifically smoked meat. You know, I know that I know other places do like smoked cheese and stuff like that, but I just. Maybe, I, there's, I know there's uh, there's got to be other cuisines that does. There's got to be other cuisines for out sure. There. Yeah. Um, but for for what I know, like only. I've only experienced Americans in terms of like really specializing and really honing in on how to like properly smoke meat. Mm. And I fucking love it. Uh, some of my favorite meals is when I when I go to Wisconsin is when you do kind of like, not even like a professional smoker, but just like a more kind of like- uh, I, I know a few professional smokers. <laughs> <laughs> but just having that fresh woody, fresh woody taste, fucking love it. Mm. Uh, smoked meat all the way for me. Yeah, uh, I can't disagree with that. It's it's great. Yeah, and uh, to end things off, obviously, I was like, what uh, food means the most to me? Shin and, ramen. Uh, I knew I had to pick an instant ramen because that is what fueled me through most of my life. Yeah, and like, you know, I only just realized looking at this three by three now, this is like, College student with a little bit of expendable income diet. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, I college student who can afford food. This diet. is this is the ramen is just everywhere. Um, every single yeah. country on earth has shin ramen, which is fine. But if you can get Indomie, it's way better. It's way tastier. The MSG is on god levels. Indomie is the best. I prefer the Nakamoto. Uh, cup no. ramen that you get from 7-Eleven. Those, they, are, those are boss. The problem with Japan is they don't they don't use enough MSG. <laughs> they need more you MSG. You just need more MSG. You need more yeah, MSG. For instant fair. noodles, you need an ungodly amount of MSG. Yeah, I, I, I know I'm betraying my own bloodline here by not putting mama noodles on here, mm. uh, which I was heavily considering. But then I just kind of realized that the problem with, the problem with, you know, my own country's noodles is that the packaging, the packet size is never enough. Mm. And I don't know if my fellow ties can like agree with me. I, uh, yeah, I agree with But this. like, it's just- <laughs> Fellow tie? <laughs> I agree with this this tie statement. I, you, your noodle size is a joke. You gotta, you gotta add 50%. It's, it's, it's like one packet of mama noodles, unless you get the extra large packet, which isn't normally on sale outside of like Thailand, but yeah. like- Busting out two. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like two is too much. But one packet is way too little, so you just end up yeah, wasting crack that like bitch yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so like to me, like to me, this is like the perfect amount of instant noodles that also taste fucking great mm. as well. Um, yeah. I didn't have this when I was growing up, uh, but when I discovered this, I never looked back. I have more shin uh, ramen noodles in my house uh, than I do mama noodles. I mean, I used to house. not be able to eat this growing up because it yeah. was too spicy, but now, oh, it now I fucking love it. It's great. It's like yeah. the perfect amount of like spicy, which is not like, to, like to me, it's not like an ungodly amount of spice. I sometimes mm. have to add like a little bit of spice to it. Uh, <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> but to me, it's just, it's if I had this in college, 
this would all this would be all I would be eating because yeah, this- you'd also have a sodium overload as well. <laughs> yeah, lots of other problems, roll, bro. That's- I would happily have a sodium overload, right. but well, not a bad three bad. Say some hits, some misses. Yeah, uh, I will, I will say like going back Safe. to going going back to the <laughs> lasagna thing. Um, like one thing I wanted to say was I never understood why spaghetti was always the most like popular pasta dish worldwide. Spaghetti is the worst pasta. It's it's like, I think right objectively now. spaghetti is just the worst pasta. Mm. And one thing that kills me in every like Italian restaurant I go to that it's, 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 it's always just different flavors of spaghetti dishes. That, that's American like, though. That's huh? a very American thing. Is it American? Yeah, in Italy it's, I, spaghetti is there, but it's nowhere. It's, yeah, spaghetti is very it's, selective. It's like, it's nowhere near as common as some other types. Mm. I'm just wondering why did we choose, why did the world choose spaghetti as the It's dish? the worst one. It doesn't absorb the pasta sauce it that well. It's, it's way too thick when you get like, you have to like fucking spin it up. Yeah. There's way too much fucking like pasta ratio to sauce. It's never enough. Every other pasta form, like you think about like the, I, I don't even fucking know the names. Penne, linguine. Yeah, all yeah. of these ones you can get a much better sauce to pasta ratio going on uh, and it absorbs it better. Like I, it'll hold I the sauce flavor. I can't think of any like pasta dish that normally is like, you know, done with spaghetti that would not be improved with other pastas. I wonder like, if it's like an easier, easier, easier to make. Might thing. just be easier to make, yeah. Yeah, and it's cheaper to- like, Cause all, that, all they have to do is pass it through the pasta machine. But right? surely, like, to, like, shape it. surely like any shape would be, Easier to make. With I, don't, the right, I don't know how to make with pasta the right, dog, so with I have the no right idea. Shaper, yeah. you know? Surely, know. surely anything. Does it work like a cookie cutter system <laughs> or, or is this more convoluted? I don't know. Like the standard like uh, spaghetti with uh, like, what is it? Mar- marinara sauce? What do they have normally with it? Like the bolognese. Bolognese, bolognese. spaghetti bolognese. It's so basic. Like I, I to me like a, an, an arrabbiata with like just the penne is yeah. so fucking good. And that's, 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 that's so like much a, better. That's, yeah, that's like a, a an easy one as well. Like, and it's yeah. more flavorful, I think. And Well, I think it's also just know. because bolognese is just a, a flavor that is also easy for children to eat as well. Yeah, like so. kids can't so. eat fucking this arrabbiata, you know? And it's super easy to make, make as well. It. Make them eat it. Who, who says yeah. they can't eat arrabbiata? Yeah, that's that's, that's what we're, we're not all, we don't, we're not all born with Thai fucking taste buds, all right? Are you joking? It's not even spicy. I couldn't eat arabbiata. What the fuck? Yeah. Me, yeah. There's no goddamn Dude, when you were five years no. old, you can't eat a fucking Arabiata. <laughs> yes, yes, you, you can. can. Uh, yes, you can. That's just I fresh. couldn't. Kids go suck it up. <laughs> he'll, he'll suck it up eventually. <laughs> All right, well, All that's right. fine. That's All fine. right, well, All that right. was that was my three by three. This video is sponsored by Gamer Subs. Guys, you know I love my Gamer Subs, but mm. you know what? Sometimes I'm just not feeling an energy drink right now, guys. I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> But thank God they released something just for the occasion, God. Gamer tea. They have gamer tea now? Gamer tea. Oh my God, give me a Kirito sip of that. Kirito wishes he could. Oh if my Kirito God. was British, he'd only be drinking No, this. he'd be he'd be doing me. A dual. <laughs> no, Connor, he'd be doing what I'm doing, which is dual wielding right now oh. with my gamer tea. Which ones are you drinking there, God? I am drinking the Connor, tell me, because I don't even know. Let You're me taste. You're drinking the black tea, I think. Taste it and, mm. oh, gamerish. Ooh. And very British. The ginger and turmeric. You should very Ooh. much be able to taste it. We don't have the box right here. I don't oh. Know. oh, this is really good. But did you know, guys, that there are four different types of gamer tea that are available right now? We have black tea, ginger turmeric, sleepy time, and yerba mata. <laughs> Each box comes with 15 tea bags. Bags should be added to hot water like you would normally to make hot tea. And guess what? Each box is $15 USD. More tea? More tea. More tea? For well, 15 oh my God, I'm USD. feeling more British just by drinking this gamer tea, guys. So put that fucking kettle on, boys, because you're drinking tea. Also, some big news. Gamer Subs is launching Waifu Cup Season 5.5 Royal Tea. See what you did there, very nice. If you buy any of the Season 5.5 Royal Tea Waifu Cups, you can get one of these boxes for free. And of course, you want to get 10% off any of your orders on the Gamer Subs website. Use code Trash Taste. Use it. Use code Trash Taste 10% off. Use it right now. Thank you so much for Gamer Subs for sponsoring this video and letting us say dumb stuff in the ad reads. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Back to the episode. Let's go next one, shall we? Who's next? Let's find out. Boop. It's me. All right, All Joey. Right. Come on, get it up, Joey. Joey. All right, get mine up. Uh, right. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> what right. the fuck? All right, here's mine. What the fuck is this? Do you have spaghetti bolognese yeah. there? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you on about, Why bro? do you think I was so quiet? 
<laughs> spaghetti bolognese is the worst pasta. This is this this almost felt foreshadowed with, I, this, with I, this fucking yeah, timing. I have a good reason for putting spaghetti bolognese though on my three by three. Okay. All right, but <laughs> nothing can be good enough, Joey. <laughs> this but is, uh, I have strawberry shortcake, skim in, uh, kangaroo sausages specifically, kangaroo, mm-hmm. uh, natto, watermelon, spaghetti bolognese, miso soup, sukiyaki, and chicken paprikash. Which one would you like to hear first? <laughs> What the All fuck? Right. Strawberry shortcake? I've never seen you <laughs> eat never, a strawberry shortcake. You've never shortcake. ever eaten a strawberry shortcake in front yeah. of me. Oh, dude, it's the only cake I can eat. Why Cause, strawberry? Because it's a strawberry shortcake to me is the perfect level of sweetness. Because like every other type of cake I have is either not sweet enough or it's way too goddamn sweet. Because I don't really eat a lot of sweet things to begin with. I don't eat desserts. Um, so, but anytime there's a strawberry shortcake, mm-hmm. it fucking slaps and I'll eat it every single time. But. If we have, if there's like fruit cakes or like chocolate cakes or any other types of cakes, I'm very selective. It's like a mood type of thing. Strawberry yeah. shortcake, I can eat any time, and I can just fucking pack that away. You Super crave this shit? Do you crave it, Joey? Yeah, it's the only. If if I see it in like a restaurant menu or like if I see like a cake place that has a strawberry shortcake, I'll buy it. It's the only cake I crave. Every other type of cake, I'm just like, eh, whatever. I'm, I'm not th- a cake person. I don't think I've ever craved a cake if I think about it. Uh, like, no, me neither. Yeah, uh, I'm, tr- I'm trying to think if I've ever craved a cake. It's hard uh, for me to criticize this. I think it's just, it's so <laughs> it's so weird. Basic. Um, uh, basic. So basic. Uh, you no, were saying what the fuck is that thing? And you're saying it's basic? No, I, it's, it's just it's just cake with a bit right. of strawberry in it. Really. Yeah, that's it's why just, I like it. Uh, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's just sponge cake with. It's, you know, it's very. Inoffensive. I like strawberries. One, one I like thing cream. I will say is that is it specifically the Japanese strawberry? Yes. All right, because the thing about Japanese cakes that I can like, I kind of like, is that it's very a uh, light, fluffy flavor. Yeah, I think that's Fluffiness what I like. Is nice, but then they put like an ungodly amount of cream on it. I like, love that. No, I love that. God. Yeah, and I love the fact that it's not like the super super it's like sweet you're eating cream. Air. You I know? hate that. Why you? Don't give me this joke of a food. Give me something real. Give me something tangible. Like what? <laughs> like more cake, less cream. Like what? Nah. Give an example. What's it? What's a cake that's better than strawberry shortcake? Um, fuck. Let's keep this. I, well, I'm, first of all, if if you know on the top, when they always put tons of cream on it, I always just scrape it off. Do you, do do you know side. my problem with what cakes? Do you, know, do you know my problem with yeah. cakes and pretty much every heavy desserts? Mm. What? It's like it's great. It tastes great, but it takes up valuable stomach space of like what I could be eating in like a main course for like lunch. That's and what dinner. I'm thinking. That's what mm. I'm thinking. It's, it's like, there is never a point that like, I've eaten fucking great cakes before, but it's always hampered my enjoyment of the following lunch or dinner. And I fucking hate that. Well, that's why I think when it comes to strawberry shortcakes, I'd rather just eat it as kind of like a snack type of thing or like like kind of a dessert, but like way after the main meal. Okay. Yeah. You know, okay. like, like strawberry shortcake to me is kind of those things where like you go out to dinner Right at some restaurant, and then on the way home, you see like a strawberry shortcake slice being yeah. sold, and you take that home, and then you eat it at home. Type yeah, thing. that's what I like. Who about the fuck it. started birthday cakes? I just, I just hate them. Birthday cakes? <laughs> yeah, because it's like every fucking birthday is got to be a cake, and I'm like, man, it's just like I don't like cakes much. Do you know the worst part about can, cakes? Can we do a birthday tiramisu? You know, can we just do that? <laughs> like, okay, do you know, do you know the worst part about cakes, especially Everything. if you buy a whole one? Aside from like everything, fondant. It's, it's like this is this is why I don't raise. Uh, don't rate cakes, right? You go to a birthday party or a wedding or something, mm. right? They bring out the cakes, right? And it's always this moment of how many people want to eat the cake and guaranteed half of the room are- I don't want to eat the cake. I don't are just like eat the eating it out of obligation. Yeah. Not because they I don't actually want, want the I don't, cake. I don't want it. That's or like true. craving the cake, but they always just like have a few bites out of like obligation. And, and then there's always fucking leftovers. And then they're like, yeah. you have to eat it. I'm like, okay, fine. Can you cut yeah. me a small slice? And they cut yeah. me a slice. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck <laughs> is this? It's like fucking like that. <laughs> <laughs> are you trying to do a trigonometry example here? What the fuck is this? See, and I think that's why Japan has kind of nailed it in that aspect of the fact that they, yeah, obviously they sell whole cakes as well, but a lot of cake places in Japan, they sell it as like single, actual like edible sized slices. Mm. The ones that you can just like kind of pick up but and to, eat. Oh, my favorite cake, to, pound cake or banana, banana bread. But to me, to me, that like- Pound cake's good, pound cake's good. To me, that like defeats the point of the cake because the cake is like symbolic of like some kind of like celebration, you know? Is it? Yeah, for me, I, I, I really don't. I'll never eat cake out of a celebration, outside of a Celtic celebration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like to, to me, like the cake is symbolic and with Japan selling it in like small slices, I'm like, you have removed the one thing that I will agree with about cakes, which is like the symbolic meaning of cakes. Yeah, but Japan is- also made Colonel Sanders Santa. So you can't believe anything they're doing. 
<laughs> they're just fucking around. Yeah, like to me, mm. there is nothing with more like basic tradition. <laughs> there's nothing more depressing than like seeing like, you know, the candles on like a single slice of cake. You know what I mean? <laughs> Who's doing that? <laughs> it, you know, you see you see it sometimes, especially you know, like Japan is the one place where you can actually do that oh, because yeah, they yeah, buy yeah. it with slices. It's sure. When people bring me a cake for my birthday, I'm like, I'm not eating that. I, I, hate, to, I hate to break it to you. I, don't, I just don't like cake that much. Yeah. For your birthday next year, I'm bringing it to you. Yeah, but you're bringing me a tiramisu. Yeah, tiramisu with, with yeah. a candle. Yeah, 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 let's do that. That's way better. Though. That's like an, a, a superior cake. All right. Even though it's All right, can we cream. just skip to the spag? The spag ball. Spag ball. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spag Joey, Joey. ball. It's I put the worst spa- Joey, why would you pick I put spag ball on pasta. here because this is a dish that my grandma used to make me when I was little, and I have very, very good fond memories of making this with my grandma. Yeah, but you, st- sorry you still- to, Sorry to bring a sob story into it. Would you yeah, still order this at a restaurant, reason. Joey? Sometimes. Yeah, this is like- Actually, so- I got a spag ball two days ago. <laughs> <laughs> this is the reason why Hershey is popular because it was fucking in, hey, the, in the trenches. I, they used to eat it. Like, uh, you know, you're, listen, you're you're being clouded now. Am I Think saying? Am now, I Joe, saying this? Is, am I saying this is the best pasta dish? No, but I have the most fondest memories of Fuck eating memories. this. As a I don't child. want to hear about your memories. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what you think is good. Huh? I, I don't care a shit about your memories. Tell me what you think is the best. The best I think is the chicken genovese pesto. Ah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. good. That's with, good. Yeah, with penne. Oh, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. easily yeah, the best yeah, pasta. Good. But yeah, that's yeah, also he, fucking uh, boring, yeah. isn't it? No, it's not boring. Yes, it no, is. No, it's not boring. You know, what's bo- you know what's boring? Spaghetti bolognese. That's yeah, fucking boring. <laughs> you know what's not boring? My great memories <laughs> of spaghetti bolognese. You know what's boring? About your you know what's boring? Joke? Your grandma. Wow. It was her birthday yesterday. Does she have bolognese? No. No. You got a real cake as well, Joey. No. <laughs> she said she was going to make spag ball no. when I got home. No, and she I was did. very no. excited. I she... would stay back in Japan if I heard that. Wow. I don't want to go. But give I... me a real meal. Do you guys see you know, this? You know, Joey? Berating my 94 year old grandma you know, like Joey, this. If I can grow up from McDonald's, you can grow up from spag ball. Yeah, you okay? can grow up. Never. Yeah. Grow up, Grandma Joey. Never. <laughs> How dare you? What are you doing? Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> <laughs> we deserve better. <laughs> All right. You, what? Sh- you should have said, you know, you can sp- you can still cook bolognese. Just use a different pasta. Yeah, no, yeah, that, yeah. that doesn't detract from- Yeah, the, you uh, do better. Does do bolognese better. work with other pastas? Yeah, of course it does. It, it, it definitely does. You think? Yeah. yeah, with penne. It's better with penne. That's true. Oh, what's the uh, butterfly ones? The butterfly uh, little ones. little bow ties? Yeah, the bow tie the ones. Bow tie those ones. are pretty good. Yeah, I've had those as well with too. bolognese. Yeah. Even with, um, oh, fuck, I, I, it's like the most common one. What the fuck? It's like spaghetti feels flattened. <laughs> oh, I, I like, is Ling, it fettuccine? Ling, no. Linguini? Uh, is it linguine? No, linguine is the- uh, I'm Terrible, sorry Italians. Like, I know, I'm so sorry Italians. Linguine is like spaghetti with a little bit more bite. Farfalle. Okay. No, uh, no, 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 that's no, the no. bow tie one. Yeah, what's the, what's the- what's the, Oh, no. What's the- Long, long thin pasta. Okay, hold on, we got it here. Rigatoni? Uh, linguine is it's not, fettuccine, is it fettuccine? Yeah, fettuccine. Oh yeah, 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 the fire one. Yeah, fettuccine, fettuccine is like better spaghetti. It's like, yeah, this is like way better than spaghetti. It is because it like, absorbs and holds the flavor. There's more, there's more surface area. Yeah, it can mm-hmm. like, hold the flavor more. Yeah, yeah. True. Flat earthers are right when yeah. it comes to like pasta. <laughs> flavor holding, yeah, 100%. Because like there is, there is like, the flatness just holds the flavor yeah. way That's better. right, fettuccine alfredo. That's right, that makes sense now. Yeah. Fettuccine alfredo, right, okay, yeah. sorry. I just like I'm the, so bad at I just like the yeah. bolognese sauce, I think. I like pappardelle. Pappardelle. Well. Yeah. Pappardelle pasta too. All right, um, what, what, what next? Uh, Tsukemen, uh, understandable. Tsukemen, understandable. We yeah. don't have to talk about we this. We've talked about Tsukemen enough. I changed your guys' mind a by gentleman. taking it to the Tsukemen place. It's fine. A gentleman handshake agreement. Gentleman's that handshake agreement, Tsukemen yeah. goaded. Did you take our producer to Tsukemen as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, t- we took, our, I took my uh, producer and uh, his girlfriend to the Tsukemen place. What and, uh, and he came back to me and he's like, I had dreams of that place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm All like, right. yes. All right, cool. Cool. All right, uh, kangaroo sausage. Check. This is another one that is I think is the best type of sausage you could have. Australians will agree with me on this. Uh, you can buy this at a supermarket. Kanga bangers, as we <laughs> call them. I would like to- They're great. Uh, Next time you guys are in Australia, you should try some kangaroo I, I, I sausage. I want to try these so I can uh, talk shit in the correct <laughs> way. Like, I'm just speculating right now. I just don't believe it I could think taste better than I a European think, sausage. I think you'll like them. I think you'll like them a lot. Why? I think I'll probably like, I mean, they look mm. great. Is that is that how an, uh, a kangaroo sausage looks? Uh, yeah, I guess. It has the correct girth of a sausage that yeah. I enjoy. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, it's it's a proper uh, good like, size. It looks like a sausage, you know? It well, certainly now, looks well, like now a sausage. Gaunt, now, Gaunt, let's, it, come on now. That's, 
you're being pedantic now. <laughs> <laughs> that, that there is a look of a sausage and that looks like it'll taste good. That looks like it has a fantastic snap, which is an yep, important part does. of any sausage. They do, they do. And uh, also looks like it has the right amount of uh, girthness going on. Mm-hmm. So you can cut it up and it gets- Juiciness nice as setup. well is on point. Really? I, l- I like the thin sausages. Uh, well, you're a fool to go on, so <laughs> I don't know how to tell you that. Uh, the, the thicker sausages are better. Oh, I don't yeah. know. The, the ones where you have to cut with a fucking knife and fork. Uh, not sausage. the ones where you can just fucking uh, shove. Generally, it thinner sausages uh, line up more to like the processed kind hot of dogs. yeah hot dog style. No, sausage. no, you, you can you can definitely get like obviously like obviously thick sausages are more readily available mm. uh, when it comes to you know proper sausages. Mm. I just it's okay. It's it's kind of like too much meat. God, can't handle the meat. Is that what you're saying? I think it just goes back to like the wrapping, the skin. You know, it's it's, it's just sh- like. Well, that's the best part of the sausage. That's the best part of the sausage. Sorry? The skin the is skin, the best part. The, the, when the skin snaps when you bite into yeah, it, that's the best, the best part. part. The best yeah, part. I, I'm, I'm saying you get more of that with like the thin sausages <sighs> because there's less meat in there. Do you? No, no, you don't. Unless you cook the shit no. out of this thing until it's like crispy on the outside. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I've, I've, like, whenever I've gone to cut, whenever I, whenever I've gone to the supermarket and I see like the million different flavors of like the thick sausages, and sometimes mm. I just see the thin sausage, and I'm like, I, th- I wish there was more flavors for no, the thin sausages. In the the thicker ones, right? It needs more pressure, more power to contain all that meat, <laughs> so it has a greater snap when it's broken. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and then the juice spurts out and you get I'm that very, like, burst very, of flavor. I'm very passionate about sausages. Um, He's a Jojo. Why I, kangaroos I love, though? Yeah, kangaroos, I, I just, okay, I so don't buy it. The, like, the thing I like about kangaroo meat in general, um, that I think I just prefer it over beef. I want to try it. Uh, is that I think it's wait, like- wait, wait, wait. Pork sausages are the gold standard. Yeah, way. pork yeah. is by far the best. But <laughs> okay, I, okay, I okay. really, I, I put kangaroo sausages almost on the same level as pork sausages. It's like, okay. That's they, fair enough, fair I enough. think they have all now of the try. same qualities of a pork sausage, but is a little bit more tender than a beef okay. sausage, if that makes sense. So- Beef sausages are awful though. Yeah, beef sausages aren't that great. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like the, the I've pork- I've had some pork okay beef sausages. Out. Pork, yeah, pork is by far the best, but I think fair kangaroos enough. are very, very close second, if not tied first. Yeah, the okay. Sausage. So, um, that's fair okay. Yeah, when uh, we're in Australia, we'll get you some. All right. What the fuck, Natto? Yep. Like, come on. Natto come on. is, I mean, it no. is the superfood that I could Joe, eat you can't every honestly, fucking day. No, look at me. No, okay, you- I'll, I'll accept Natto, but like, you can't look at me and tell me mm. that Natto, top nine foods of all time. Better it's- than American barbecue. <laughs> better than pizza. Better than- uh, Ain't no way. I've had- Better than no Indian way. food. I better than all, no no Italian way. food. Bro, we're talking about breakfast foods. That's the king of breakfast foods right there. <laughs> Bro, you're delusional. Natto you're delusional. on a bed of rice. Also, natto can be used in all sorts of different- Dude, natto in curry is bussin. Okay, okay. You're delusional. Amazing. Okay. Natto in a sushi form, amazing. Explain to me this, okay? Explain to me this, all right? I've had natto, we've all had natto. Sure. I'm fine with the flavor of natto and everything. No, I mean, he's not, but- Yeah, he, he's <laughs> not. I'm not a fan. All right, all right. But food, texture is important, right? Bad texture. Eh. Text, no. te- texture, texture is important, is important. right? Yeah, texture, te- texture is texture important. Texture is so important. Sell me on a food that has the same texture p- profile as phlegm. Just like, yeah, just yeah. like, just- It is phlegm. Just, just, just explain how you mentally Not get- only does it, does it have the texture of phlegm, it also looks like phlegm. Look at that picture. I that smell that way like a, worse that is like than a well, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna say it. I don't give a fuck about the texture of food. That's crazy to me. That's crazy. What? I literally what? do not care you about just, the texture you of food. You are just backing me up on the snap I'll eat, I'll, I'll eat is, baby food if I have to. I don't give a fuck. As long as it tastes good, I don't care. Texture is also, so important. Okay, also to oh, me, okay. Okay. here's the other thing as well. Also to me, it's kind of, we're not even standing at the same starting line because this is a texture to me that's not weird because I've had it all my goddamn life, right? So obviously you guys are gonna think texture is important because there are some textures out there in food cuisines, which are just out of the norm for you guys. To me, natto is a very normal texture to me. But you, you're also arguing that texture isn't important. No, yeah. it's not something I'm gonna be like, oh, this crazy. is disgusting. Like I've I, had I've, so, I've literally had all sorts of different, like, you know, sticky, you know, slimy, whatever shit growing up that to me, that texture is normal. Texture is massively important. That's texture, very important to me. Like texture, sometimes you, you get, I can't believe this. That's just a weak mindset. I, if you ask I, me. I can't believe that this is top Some, Sometimes it is as important as the taste. I was like trying, trying to like- Weak mindset. 
it's it's okay, okay. Have you ever had, for example, soggy fried chicken? You know, fried chicken that's been out yeah, too yeah, long, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just yeah. doesn't have that same like crispiness to it. Yeah, it it tastes the same, mm. you, but you heat up in the microwave, fucking tastes awful. Like it, I'll you, still you, eat it. It just like it's just it's. Well, I've been a broke college student before. I'm not gonna pick and choose this shit. Even as I get that, but I would never have fried chicken. Like, oh, no, I would I'll, never, never, I'll never have it over the fucking fresh shit, obviously. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that like this whole idea of the, the sticky phlegmy texture being like, you know, the end all be all of everything in terms of food, I think is just a weak mindset. But I think that's, well, okay, I just have a weak mindset. There's nothing to discourage me. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, watermelon. Um, Best fruit, arguably. Uh, well, I, I I hate disagreeing with everything, but yeah, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I disagree. Uh, it's the it's it's the best fruit because you get the most out of your bang for buck. Like you get a giant fucking watermelon, you get so much out of that. Yeah, well, this it, is, uh, it is it is watery, so you know you can hydrate to, yourself that. at the same time, right? Melon is just better in every way. Melon sometimes That's is just, just too much flavor. What? The f Melons also what? melon can get some. Sometimes melon can get a bit soggy. Oh, and watermelon can't? No. Watermelon is like, it is, I think, it, what is the makeup of watermelon? It's like 99 point like something fucking water. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what's good. It's, uh, it's basically like, it's like when you, you know, when you have like uh, the, the drinks where you like concentrate and you add water. Mm. It's like that if you like someone spat some of the concentrate into a, a glass and then you put two liters of water and you're like, I right, have it. Dude, you're the like, fresh watermelon juice. 92% water. 92%. The fresh watermelon juice I had in Thailand, yeah, like confirm to me that watermelon is the best. I, I would say the watermelon is definitely top tier. It's a top tier. For yeah, me. I disagree. Yeah. Hundred percent. In the summer as well, I mean, I'm, like I'm, I'm ice cold guy, watermelon. Woo! It's better than banana. It's way You're better than banana. Oh, it is fuck. way it better is than banana. So are you kidding me? Fuck, Not even in the same what league. What the fuck are we talking about here? Let's be let's be reasonable <laughs> nah. adults here. Come on, nah. banana what? banana overrated. Are you yeah. kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Like banana, it's like, I don't dislike banana. Like, you know, I, I don't have like oh. every dislike for banana. It's it's good. I, I, I enjoy it. It's, mm. it's- I'll kinda, eat it. Yeah, it's- What it's, the fuck are you guys talking about? I'll eat banana it, but it's not, it's not my first nor fifth choice. You guys are delusional. The banana's kind of like the My Hero Academia fruit. <laughs> what the, I won't stand, no, in, in, I won't in, stand in, for in, that in, comment. Like, you like you opinion, need to take that comment back. In, 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 like, in oh, like my fuck opinion, off. You know? The My Hero Academia fruit. Watermelon fruits. is like the monster of fruit. You, you are, it's you are like, insulting my entire being right now. <laughs> you cannot say that. It's just like safe. It has this like good so, points, yeah. okay? Huh? It's Wait, like, everybody ever, likes it. Yeah. It's, it's good for any occasion, yeah, but is it the best out there? No, no. Uh, no yeah. Watermelon certainly is not. A banana uh, 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 leaps and bounds ahead of the watermelon. No. It actually has flavor. No. It doesn't crumble into water in your mouth after one bite. That's what I love about it. Why, why are you gonna have fucking seeds in there, bro? What an annoyance. What, I what a, fucking seeds. Just get the seedless ones. Yeah, watermelons. Yeah, watermelon's more like, you know, attack on Titan, you know? Yeah. It's, it's like- Yeah, fucking bloated it's, and it's goes like, on for too long. You know, you know, compared to like some, you know, it's Watered still, it's still down. very, very popular, but you mm. don't see it around as often as like, you know, the mainstream kind of fruits like fucking yeah. bananas, Dude, apples. Watermelon, watermelon uh, be laying right, low in the winter, but when fun. the summer yeah, hit, yeah, yeah. oh my yeah. God, it is the star of the yeah, show. Yeah, the, the beta seasonal fruit <laughs> versus the Chad all rounder banana. No, the basic, perfect, no. perfect portion I, ready for any occasion. I think Always you mean the, the right basic all rounder. Yeah. And the More thing nutritional is, value. It's better in every single way. Like the thing, the thing with looks like a is, cock. You, you know, you know, like it's, it's not just the fruit. It's not just the fruit, but you know, if you have like messy, you know, you know, if you have like a watermelon, like sweet. Yeah, you know, it's gonna fucking slip. watermelon flavored yeah. things trumps banana flavored things any day. Oh, of the week. any fuck day off. of the week. Any fuck day off. of the fucking week. <laughs> Go back to your natto strawberry shortcake bollocks. <laughs> fuck off. I don't. Delicious. I don't understand for yeah. this. The right. only thing that keeps watermelon from being like the perfect fruit mm. is the seeds. That's like that's like the only thing. And the, the lack of watermelons. flavor. And the lack of flavor. I, I was like, okay, there's there's two things. It's just like, there are different like tiers. It's like, 
you, it's like you have like the sweet center, which is like fucking godlike. Mm. And then you get close to like the crust yeah. and it starts to become a little more like flavorless as you get closer to the edge. Well, and you just only, have to like take that L. Yeah, only in, only in the watermelon uh, context that I will be a uh, crossless gang <laughs> with with Gaunt. Uh, yeah. You know, when it, whenever I have watermelon, whenever I buy like a big watermelon during the summer, yeah. I don't even do like the fucking triangular shit like that. Like I cut it up into blocks so yeah. that I can just get rid of all across immediately and I can, I'm just left with the good shit. Yeah, not every bite of watermelon is the same when it comes to like, especially yeah. if you get close to the edge, it gets a bit a little tougher, a little uh, less- Dude, uh, you put that shit in the freezer, let it sit for a little bit on a really hot summer day and you crack that bitch open. Yeah. God damn. But uh, what can I say? Watermelon, still a top tier fruit. Top tier fruit, in my best eyes. fruit in my I opinion. I would agree with you, this Joey. Fruit. Banana, not All right, good. all right, miso soup. Very safe, very safe. Yeah, option. this is comfort food for me. I mean, yeah, you know, great. growing up in a Japanese household, this is like a type of thing which is super easy to make, uh, you know, very versatile. You can put anything inside miso soup and most of the time I'm it solid. works very, very well. You know, this one has leek and uh, tofu in it, but like, you know, you can put mm -hmm. uh, carrots, daikon, onion, um, seaweed, you know, anything goes. Like there's there's a ton of different things you can put in it. And White, white or red miso? Ooh, see, when I was growing up in Sendai, we had white miso. Yeah. Uh, but I do like red miso as well. I like, I, red, I like, I like red miso more. Red miso is good. It's got red more intensity, more flavor. Yeah, I agree with that. But it's a good comfort food. I'll, yeah. agree. I'll let you have that one. Yeah. yeah, and also great for hangovers. Best thing to have for hangovers. Just great in general. Just great in general. I you just, want to warm yeah. up, if you're sick, you're hungover, you just want something you know, to fill yourself up for a little bit. Miso soup's yeah, good I just go. can't think of a situation where I wouldn't think it's mm. acceptable. Yeah. Okay. Like I, I, I honestly think miso soup has that power where it just like transcends cuisines. Mm. I would, you know, you, I would love to have miso soup in like any kind of cuisine, you know? Yeah. I, I'm trying to it think- It works of, any time I'm of the day. I'm trying to think of a starter, like a, a cuisine where it wouldn't work as a starter. Yeah, <laughs> and with, yeah, yeah. Good. I think Kinda miso soup- works with everything. Yeah. Uh, you have sukiyaki, is Sukiyaki, yeah. yeah that's, so great. that's my favorite hot pot. Again, it's memories of, you know, me and the family eating it once a year. It is the best hot pot of all the Japanese. It yes. is the best hot give pot. Me, give me Chinese hot pot. Chinese hot pot to me is, mm. is, is superior. I, w I was this close to putting Chinese hot pot on my three by three actually. I uh, like Chinese hot pot, but I like sukiyaki more. I like sukiyaki more, I think. Yeah, there's a different level of- Sukiyaki's too clean. There's a it's different level of comfort and balance, yeah. yeah to more balance. Nah, Ch Chinese hot pot has like, has all of those fucking herbs and the flavor and it's just so strong. And the fucking meat just soaks up. Like the, the sukiyaki soup is just, who is it's not flavorful enough, you know? Because yeah. mm. one th one part I love about like the hot pot is just putting a bunch of shit in it and having whatever ingredients you put in it just soak up that flavor. And to me, mm. Chinese hot pots, because the soup is way like to me like thicker um, and more flavorful, it just you can taste it so much more in the ingredients you put in. Mm. And sukiyaki, yeah, it's a little bit cleaner. Definitely, you you come out of it not hating your body, mm. <laughs> yeah, mm. which is. I guess like that's a big, big thing, <laughs> but to me, given the choice, okay, do I want to be health conscious or do I want to eat something that fucking slaps and oh, destroys I, I don't my think body? Sukiyaki is healthy at all. Is it not healthy at no. all? <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of soy sauce, loads of soy so sauce. So it's very, it. very salty. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the ingredients- More healthier in comparison. Yeah, the ingredients oh, you yeah, throw yeah. in are definitely more healthier yeah. than otherwise, yeah, but yeah. I wouldn't necessarily say sukiyaki The Chinese hot pot has like way more oils in it. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, I mean like this is one thing where like I'll always have a craving for it. Like this is one of those things where like I love it. It's one of my favorite Japanese foods, but it's one of those Japanese foods where like I only want to eat it maybe like two or three times a year and nothing more. Cause like if I have it more often than that, I feel the magic of it is gonna disappear. And I'm very happy with it being like a thing where it's just happens, you know, once every happenstance and when that happenstance happens, you're just like, Hell yeah, I, I fucking deserve this. This yeah. is goaded. Especially this time of year, it's <laughs> yucky goaded. Uh, the last one is chicken paprikash. So this is my favorite Hungarian food. Looks fire. Uh, that my, again, my I've favorite thing that my grandma used this. to make. Uh, it's basically uh, chicken and thigh and chicken wing uh, in a paprika sauce with uh, this thing called gnocchedli, uh, which is kind of like, I don't know how to explain gnocchedli. It's kind of like uh, halfway between pasta and bread. Oh, okay. It's the only way to Honestly, describe it. it looks fucking incredible. Oh, it is it looks so fun. good. It looks fun. It yeah. is uh, really, really, really good. And I yeah. really want to learn how to make this. 
Um, but yeah, this is another one where like, if I would go to, every time I go to my grandma's place, she'd either make mm. me spaghetti bolognese or chicken paprikash. And those I, are the I'm, only two things I listen, ever asked. Half, half the time she's fucking doing you dirty. <laughs> I, 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 come on. Hey man, chicken paprika takes a long time. There's, so no, I wasn't... Sh- there's no shot I'm taking the spaghetti over there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, are you kidding me? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, like I, I was craving this so much during uh, the pandemic, obviously, because yeah. I couldn't go see my grandma, yeah. that uh, I was looking up like Hungarian restaurants in Tokyo. I found one, one Hungarian restaurant in Tokyo, yeah. and they had chicken paprika. It was good, but I was like, damn, like grandma good. magic is a real thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. And it's it's just not the same. I don't know, I don't know what the difference was, but it just didn't taste the same. Well, have you ever tried learning the dish? My sister's learned how to make it and she's gotten better at it. Uh, yeah. I This is like one thing, I mean, I don't really care about yeah, cooking. She, she, she doesn't have the grandma buff. She's, you just yeah. don't, she yeah. doesn't have the grandma she, buff. She, okay, so like <laughs> my grandma actually wrote the recipe for this, yeah. but the way she wrote it was the most, Eastern, old Eastern European woman way of writing. Look a to the east and grab the spice you seek. No, no, she said like, get the paprika at a good amount. And I'm like, what? What's a good amount? Nah, I'll tell you, know it's fire. It's though. just like that's you know, it's you know. the good amount. Fire. Yeah, but like she just that's, knows. That's the thing about ingredients like like recipes like this because I've mm. had similar instances with my mum, where I've craved some of her cooking mm. and she's tried to like walk me through step mm. by step. Yeah, mm. somehow. I fuck it up somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. Like, I don't know how this is possible because I've literally had her on a Zoom call yeah. and I'm like, mama, how'd you, how'd you make your curry? And she's like, all right, let me walk you through step by step. Tastes different. Yeah. And doesn't it I, like so, somehow where she's like, I, I don't even know if she knows how much she puts in. She just like, it's it's like ultra instincts. You know, mm. it's just like, she knows the right <laughs> amount of ingredients. And yeah. when I start measuring shit, that's how I know it's not going to be as good. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know? totally. Enough, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. Not so bad, that's my three by yeah. three. Some I agree with, some I don't agree with. Yeah. Fair enough. The I mid- feel that's going to be the case with all of our three by three. The yeah. middle row I don't agree with. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck you. Watermelon's the best dog. Watermelon oh, is the best. I, I don't know. All yeah. right, let's see Connor's All right, I need, a, I need a, a quick piss. Star, yeah. All right. Oh, don't, don't, don't show yet, don't show yet. Don't show yet, don't show yet. So you've played your games, boys. You've had your cute little list. Time to show you what a real- okay, you've right. talked your talk. Let's a see what you've A real three let's by three see. looks like. Yeah, let me show you this. this. Let me just show you this. All right, we got some bangers. There we go. That's a, bad. <laughs> That's a list. What a fucking list. All right, all right, all right. You all right, wait, 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 wait. Just, oh just to God. confirm. Tell me you're British just, without just, telling me you're British. Just to confirm, uh, this is a list of foods, right? Yeah. What is, Whoa, beer? What is beer doing beer there? Beer is a food. We're in fucking Germany, Connor. Oh, beer, beer is food. <laughs> it Change is not a heart. food. It's food. I drink beer as a food substitute. It's it's liquid bread. Yeah, it's it's, it's food. <laughs> How is it not food? <laughs> Sorry? I mean, it's look, like 300 th- calories, carbs, a, a drink. It's it's carbonated. It's nice food. You drink it. Yeah, but I yeah, but you could drink some, you drink miso. Is that it? Okay, hold on. That's the least of my worries. <laughs> There's this other thing okay, to point all, out here. You've done me dirty with this beans and toast picture. Yeah, yeah. Is, you fucking, I, I didn't get these that, pictures. That is the worst picture I, of I beans gave, on toast I, I I've ever I gave my seen. list to the producers and they gave me the sloppiest, saddest looking beans on toast I've ever seen in my life. Okay, so we got McCoy's chips. Listen, all right. Uh, crisps actually, no, crisps. they're, they're, they're cri- fucking chips. What are you fucking talking about? They're you, chips. Okay. Get I back in I don't, line. I don't believe this crisp. Bullshit. Look at your flag and remind, remind yourself who you are, all right? You belong to us, okay? <laughs> So those are crisps. Uh, these are specifically McCoy's crisps. These are bangers. They there's, are, they are right. bangers. There's they not are. a single occasion where if offered to me, I will, I will say no to these. They're yeah. just so goddamn. Mm. They are, the thing about McCoy's that the other crisps need to take a lesson from is that not only is the texture godlike, the crunch is immaculate, just, but they I'm are- I'm just looking at this and I'm just like, this is so British. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 Tell, tell me you're British without listen, telling listen, me you're listen. British. <laughs> it is absolutely packed with flavor. Each bite of McCoy's, Overflavored, honestly, quite frankly. There's so much uh, green and brown in this. I love, I love my green. I love my brown. Uh, uh, and I, you know, I thought about, you know, honestly. What's your favorite McCoy's flavor? Oh, it's so tough, but I think the cheddar and onion is the fucking god. Flame grilled steak for me. Flame grilled steak's pretty good too. I, I love, I love the And also the statements. salt and vinegar. Listen, because sometimes a, a British tradition, because uh, you know, uh, in America, right, you get a bag of crisps, uh, mm. crisp, right? And they're, they're too big. Yeah. They're like, sure. they, are, they are commitments. In the UK, we've kind of we've got we've perfected the size of the crisp bag because you can have one, you can feel like I'm good, but you can also be like I'm gonna have three bags 
Is it healthy? <laughs> well, no, but the, I would regularly just eat all three flavors. Well, the good thing about go. McCoy's is that I believe it's all crinkle cup, right? All crinkle Which cup, baby. Which is the superior that crisp. That is the superior. Oh, it, 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 oh it, it, it is the God. superior crisp. And oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit thicker than like Walker's Max. Yeah, well, if, you, if you go to the UK, please try McCoy's. Yeah. They I, are fucking packed. I was converted. I, I love McCoy's as well. McCoy's are great. Um, I totally agree with that. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like the McCoy's could be a part of the, the meal deal at the bottom because it's kind of, they kind of, they go hand in hand. Because <laughs> I, I really wanted to put Indian food on here, but I didn't know which Indian food specifically. I, I was debating put. to put Indian curry. But, well. I, but I, I don't but have a favorite. Which, if you put a gun in my head, it'd be mutton curry, but mutton curry is so, it's it could be whatever <sighs> spices you put in it. Yeah, for me, it's tied between mutton and kima. And I, and I, and I feel like I can't just put, a cuisine on there because that's not fair. Because <laughs> you know, that's like saying, like you didn't put, you wanted to put barbecue, but you pick ribs, right? Yeah, I can't yeah. do that with Indian food. Right. I love Indian food so much, I couldn't pick one. But McCoy's, man, I mean, sometimes you, I, we're sleeping on snacks in our three by threes. Is what I'm realizing. No, none of you guys put snacks down. Right, right, well, I, actually, I, I actually had a snack on there and I took it. What off. did you have on there? You, you guys would like the reason I took it off is because I don't think anyone would would, would have uh, heard of it. Yeah. Um. There's this like Thai fish snack. Okay. <laughs> called Taro. You yeah. told me about this. Yeah. 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 Uh. It's it's kind of like it's available in Japan as well. Uh. She's called something different. Yeah. But yeah. it's like also like a little bit spicy as well. Yeah. Uh, I I would have put Red Rock Deli chips. Uh, which I yeah. still think are the best chi potato chips out there. Okay. Only in Australia though. But I put Easter eggs. That's like a snack Give me them me. when I'm there next. <laughs> that's a snack to me. Easter, yeah. Easter, Easter eggs. Uh, I, know, guess, I yeah. think yeah. It's, it's too easy to look at meals and think main meal of dinner, right? Uh, you put you put some breakfast ones and you put some dessert yeah. there. And I, I wanted to make sure I was getting a variation of snacks in there too. So that's fine. That's why you I went put, so far that you put an alcoholic beverage as well. Yeah, <laughs> Beer is food. You can't change my mind. Uh, none of this, you know, I think, you know- with beer, Is it the best alcohol? Uh, yes, 100%. 100%? 100% for me, beer is the best alcohol. Mm. Uh, I used to think that, food. but I don't think I think that anymore. I think I, I think I, I would like. I, well, you know, I roll my eyes when I when I go to a place in America and they're like, "We have like skull fuck IPA." This is what they'll, they'll call it that, or they'll yeah. call it like bum scratch IPA. You're yeah. like, right, "What the fuck is this shit?" Yeah. It's like an eight percent alk beer. You're like, "What the fuck is this?" Just give me a. Give me something good. Give me like a. a give me support. It's, it's this a close. Pale ale, it's this close to being the crazy. perfect alcohol if it didn't have the mm. fucking calorie content. Yeah, which I you know green labels, I, bro. As I mentioned, no. I, I, I do, <laughs> no. As I mentioned, I do enjoy alcohol-free beer. I, I this the one in Japan. They do they do no calorie, no carbs, yeah. alcohol-free beer, and it tastes it scratches that itch of beer. It's fantastic. But it's not food. It's um, not normal beer is food. Yeah, liquid <laughs> bread. I agree. Uh, with beer that. is food. Uh, <laughs> you can't have that as a meal. You can't, you can't have that as a meal. <laughs> uh, okay. You, you oh, most certainly oh, can. Okay, gone. I've, All right, I've had a few nights where I've only had a beer yeah, and had, I went home full. Yeah, I've had I've And had that nights. was a mistake. It uh, was uh, a mistake, uh, but I still went uh, home I've full. I've had evenings where I've you know just been like, I, I'm, I have the beer and I'm kind of bloated and I'm like, I'm kind of good. Yeah, I'll just keep drinking beer. <laughs> that's like, Should that's, I? No, but I do. Yeah. Not often do I do Game's that. Game's a game. Uh, beer is food. You can't change your mind. I was, I was about to make an argument and then I realized it was gonna be a really hot take. Go on, sir. Um, Coward, you are. Okay, I okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't have just soup as a meal either. Uh, like, yeah, if, me if too, you just, If too. you just give uh, me liquid as a meal, it's that's like not a meal uh, to me. Soup, beer is better than soup. Uh, I would agree with you, except I could easily just have miso soup. Not and as a meal. No, you can't have miso soup. Just be like, okay, alcohol I is am done. Alcohol right. is uh, considered- miso, miso I can. <laughs> Alcohol is considered a food item because it supplies your bodies with calories. And a so, lot. So are crayons. Uh, no, they, crayon, crayon, they don't have that much. They don't have enough. They got calories. No, you can, you, can, you can have like a thousand calories of beer easily. So any drink with calories is count, counts as food? Uh, yeah, no, it's yeah. not, it's yeah, not. Yeah, so it's water not. is not food. It's got like carbs in it as well, you know? It's like, like, don't don't give carbs, me this shit. It's, this is like the same. This is like the same shit where like Listen, uh, it's hot dog a sandwich. Well, technically, it's like two piece. It's like no, no just don't it's curry fucking a drink. Mm. Like the <laughs> important well, thing out. is okay, the on, important man. thing is if I order a fucking meal and all you give me is fucking beer, I'm gonna be like, yo, where the food? Where the food at? Come I'll, on, I get some little snackies with it, but the beer is the main food. Yeah, usually the McCoys pairs. <laughs> with yeah, the that. McCoys with the beers. So that's the, they they go hand in hand often. Um, so yeah, beer. I I I recognize as food, and mm -hmm. I love love beer a lot. 
Um, and then in the middle, which is not a great photo, I really don't know. <laughs> uh, not the middle, sorry, the I, middle, top middle. It's not a great photo. Do you even know what that Oh, is? shogayaki? It's shogayaki, but yeah, what, yeah. it looks kind of bad in no, this No, I, I recognize the shogayaki. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's like shogayaki. the Denny's shogayaki. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah that's, Denny's shogayaki. That is not a flattering looking short, that is a very mid looking short. No, shogayaki. that is what the average shogayaki looks like. Yeah, that, like. that is what it looks what like. What is the so tomatoes on the side? You don't normally get tomatoes on the side. So do you want to defend this? Because I like it, but- I like it, but it's not my favorite. When I think of shogayaki, it. that, is, that is what I think of, which yeah. is like, I, dude, you gotta have it's some okay. I, th I think of like the fucking Nako 400 yen yeah. shogayaki, no, you know? No, there's some places that do it so fucking good. Shogayaki is um, just kind of like- Ginger pork. Ginger pork. Ginger pork. It's like grilled ginger pork. And uh, it's just great. If you have like good quality pork, and you, you have some really thick sauce. Lots of flavor. My problem goes with, so well with rice. My problem with shogayaki is kind of what this picture is. It's like, a lot of the times, it just looks depressing. I don't, I don't, <laughs> you know? I don't want this green I mean, look, shit look at, look at that, look at that picture. <laughs> the only thing that out depresses that picture is the beans on toast. You well, know? one of my yeah, favorite sure. shogayakis was the one that, that uh, Matsuya used to do before they changed the recipe fuckers. Mm. Uh, they made their pork worse for some reason. <laughs> and uh, it used to be great. So like the type in like Matsuya, Shogayaki set. Probably because probably because people weren't fucking going to Matsuya to get shogayaki. <laughs> they, they were going were, there to get gyudon. They were, they were being cucked and they changed the menu. Uh, it's this amazing like comfort traditional Japanese food. You've got to try it. It's fucking God tier. Look at that pig. I mean, yeah, like for not me- that That's not, that's not shogayaki. Uh, Matsuya shogayaki, which one is it? Probably the left one, right? Um, the very, the very right one looks more similar to it. I mean, look, oh, like, the left one, yeah. That, shogayaki for sure is great. It's it's amazing comfort food for me. God, as it looks well. so bad, but it tastes Definitely. so good. <laughs> it does taste it, amazing. Uh, yeah. Out of out of the you know incredibly visually you know appealing Japanese foods that exist out there, this one is definitely not. I was up wondering there. how they fucked up. Like in presenting I, show, like Japanese are like the masters you can't, at you presentation. Can't make you can't good. make that look good. Listen, the thing is you like just can't. gyoza, I love it. Ramen, I love it. But when I think about like something that makes you feel good inside, shogayaki just does something to me. That I was makes very you feel close happy. to putting gyoza on my three by three. Me, I, 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 gyoza basic, yeah. I had gyoza and I took it off as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, you know, I just think of all the Japanese foods that really gives me a sense of comfort. And mm. this is one of them. Yeah. Um, it's just such a good whole, uh, eating experience. And uh, if you come to Japan, I really recommend Dude. trying it. It's not thought about as one of the great Japanese foods. No. Yeah. Um, it it's, never gets, it's good, never gets a love, but it's, it's good fantastic. Sure. Yeah. Do, do, do you ginger. know one Japanese side dish that I fucking hate that mm. you can see on that shogayaki dish? The cabbage? It's the fucking really thinly sliced cabbage. <laughs> it's like, um, I, I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it is, it is often- It kind of makes me feel like a horse eating hay, you know? <laughs> yeah. it, has, it has negative flavor. Yeah. It, is, it is always the worst. Like, I'm chewing that motherfucker I, forever. Like, every time I see this on a plate, I'm like, you had to empty space in the plate yeah, and you, you did not know how to cabbage. fill up okay, that space. Okay, unless there is like a banger dressing when you go to like some katsu place. But I hate it, I hate it they call it salad as well. It's yeah. like, this is not a salad. It is, it is not a salad. Salad yeah. requires multiple elements involved. <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, yeah, but the only time I actually like that is when you have katsu on, because you, yeah. katsu, because you need, you need something to chill out the fucking oil. For sure, yeah. for sure. Uh, and it kind of works. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's one, one that I would recommend. Is it the best food ever? Uh, no, but it's it's definitely a huge comfort food. Oh, for yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah. it's up there. Let's talk about something that is the best food ever right now. Danish hot dogs, specifically? Hot dogs in general. Well, that's a Danish, Danish hot dog. Hot that is a dogs. Danish hot dog, which is a, is a God tier hot dog. Which is the best. The best hot dog. You can the only hot dogs I, I, I love agree. all dogs, right? I love all types of dogs. You know, you can get like uh, German style, right? You can get more British style hot dogs, which is typically just really thick sausages that are smaller, like in mm. length. I don't really count British. Like sausages. Like, well, they're, they're in like the hot. They're in, they're in a bun. It's a sausage in a bun. It has sauce on it. It's a hot dog. Uh, whether you like it or not, that is true. Um, <sighs> the traditional hot dog that we all we, we all familiar as the American one. They are they have cockroaches in them. Probably hairs. Who knows what else? Rat feces. Probably something else. But man, does it taste good? I fucking love it. <laughs> Even like going to like a ball game, Why? which I don't Why? do. Why? Why do you like it? I just fucking love it. You know dude. what? I'm I gonna say it. I genuinely do not like those kinds of hot dogs. I love those shit dogs. I just think hot dogs, chili aside dogs, from like, fuck, aside from like the Danish hot dogs, uh, I just think they're fucking overrated. Yeah. I, I, so, okay, chili dogs, I fuck. Oh, chili dogs. Chili dogs are good. Chili but dogs are regular, great, but, but not regular hot dogs are boring. Chili dogs are great, not because of the hot dog. Because, it's of, the because chili. of the chili. <laughs> You no, know? it's 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 that part is true. and it's part of the texture, which we earlier. It's part of the snap. I love the bread and I love the the bread to sauce to meat ratio. Like, it's perfected. I really dog. like you know sausages. Onions, you know. Oh, 
Uh, I used to think hot dogs were just eight because in my mind, I was only thinking about mm. the American hot dogs. And yeah. then we had the Danish hot dogs on top. Danish hot dogs, and it listen, changed there's, there's, my life. there's different levels of quality that you can get, but I love all dogs. I want all dogs in my mouth, regardless of quality. Um, you know, I just want them all. Balls. <laughs> um, I like, yeah, I, I admit the Danish hot dog, probably superior to most Would, hot dogs. Do you prefer a hot dog over like just a traditional sausage? In a bun, most of the times, yeah, I like because I like the bread aspect. I like the I like the sauce aspect. Um, I prefer that from a like a fucking real sausage. I mean, I really? don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Uh, sausages would be on this list too, but I can't have two sausages on the I list. I mean, the That's Australian in me is saying the sausage sandwich is better than. I love dog. again sausage sandwiches, British sausage buddies. Yeah, yeah. no, no, you them. guys fucked it up. But the Australians did it the correct. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, you guys cut that shit you in half. Stole and that you stole that from us. Yeah, we made it better. You guys cut that shit in half and you put two slices of bread. That's too much bread. Get one slice of bread diagonally, wrap that shit around. You can hold it in one hand, you get full sausage. Uh, I, I agree. We do Joey it better. No, no, because you're- We you, do it it's better. It's just because you can't, you, in Australia, you, you can't afford more bread to actually. We don't just want more what, bread, we want more sausage. You you guys Joey's on your island- Joey's finally speaking no, my language. No, 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 no. Joey's you speaking my language. You bread hater. <laughs> I don't, it doesn't matter if you validate him here. <laughs> if you, a British sausage sandwich, also one of my favorite comfort foods as well. It, it just. Sausage with bread, regardless of which combination it's being put in, <laughs> is is my f probably my favorite food of all time. It's up there. It's, it's up my there. number one thing. I will never ever say no to a hot dog or a British sausage sandwich or yeah. a sausage on its own. I just love sausage. I hands up, right? I'm a, I'm a born JoJo fan. I yeah. want sausage in every single form. But I can never like not think that hot dog, like every time I've had a hot dog, mm. it's an American hot dog, not yeah. Danish hot dogs. Uh, I just it's can never, hot. I yeah, can just never hot. not think I would just prefer a real sausage. 100%, you know? yeah, but if I'm in the occasion, I'm like, I'm down. The snap is there. That's all I'm looking for. The snap, the <laughs> sauce, the bread, the quality. It tastes so fucking processed. Yeah, it's, it is, it does, it does. And it's, it's definitely not as good, but yeah. it, it's, it it's, it's like It's like eating- Pickles too. <laughs> It's it's like, you know, having the choice of like a steak or something and being like, actually, I would rather have spam, you know? Well, okay, I, well, I now- yeah, yeah. If, we, if we're talking on. like American, like street food stuff, like, you know, like say like, you know, if you're in New York or something, mm. right? There's tons of like food stands, hot dog included. It's just I'd rather best. just get a fucking kebab. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Any day whoa, of the week. Whoa, no. Over agree, a hot dog, no. agree, kebab no. or no. gyro, any oh, day of the week. My. Yeah. No, it's it's not, just better. No, it's not. It's not. I've had the I've had hot dogs from New York like hot you know dog, food stands one food. before, and it they're just all right. The I fucking love, kebabs and gyros though. Shit. When I went to America, I tried every style of American hot dog as well, and they were all fantastic. Because they're know, all the, the Detroit fucking dog, same. The Coney That's dogs, why. Uh, the Ben's Chili Bowl dogs in DC. That was an amazing spot. You know. <laughs> They got the Chicago dogs, no sauce. I respect the hustle up firm. And then you were all trumped by uh, Denmark, so. And yeah. Denmark also is great. No, he, every, yeah. I love every form of sausage, so I think it's fine. Um, speaking of all Joey, right. who called me basic, Genovese pasta is my favorite pasta. Yep. If I had to pick one. Yep. It if I had to pick best. one over spaghetti bolognese, it'd be this one. I, mean, I, I do like that we've all put a different type of pasta yeah. on it, here. Although this, I am noticing yeah. that this spaghetti, like, this, I believe. I think that's, is that not linguine? That looks like linguine. That, that's linguine. Is that that's linguine? Like, that's it looks like Oh, spaghetti. Come spaghetti. on, Joey. <laughs> All right, yeah, I was about yeah. to Can't say. Can't tell the difference between your linguine and your spaghetti. What yeah. are you doing? Uh, linguine is okay, <laughs> but I obviously would prefer anything else. The thing I like about, uh, the thing I really, really like about Genovese is that Genovese as a sauce is strong enough that on its own, it can just carry. Yeah. But you can add stuff to it to make it, if you want to, you know, fan it up a little bit, you can add shrimp to it. You can add uh, some kind of veg to it. You can add, you can add, you can add meat to like it if you want. broccolini or asparagus. Oh, it's or, so good. Yeah. It's just so, it just yeah. nails it, dude. And it's such an intense flavor and no other pasta comes close to tasting like it. It's such a unique flavor. For sure, yeah. Uh, Cause they, they were just like, what if, Basil was everything. And we were like, all right, let's I mean, hear the pest, guy out. Pesto's goaded. Pesto I'm, is goaded. I'm, I'm a fiend. Pesto is god tier. I'm a fiend for pesto. Oh, uh, yeah, I yeah. literally went to Genova just to have Ge Genovese. Genovese. Like Genovese. Just because I was like, I love this food so much. I want to go to the source. Mm. Uh, and it was amazing. Uh, and it was, <laughs> I went to the source, baby. And it the was source amazing. of the it source. Was, <laughs> it was so worth it. I, ev everywhere. They had lasagna that was, uh, Genovese base and it was insane. It was Ooh, so good. It was like, I was like, uh, that sounds like my dream dish. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah you've just was... improved on uh, Genovese. Yeah, they, yeah. they had pasta that was infused with uh, Genovese uh, or like pesto, so that it was like. Well, shit. I know so what I'm getting for dinner tonight, dude. I'm Sheesh. telling you, like they. It is such an amazing dish. Yeah. 
And yeah. I just love it. Uh, but I, I, you know what? When I go to a lot of Italian restaurants, I normally, I, I don't order it all the time. I'm mm. very reserved with how I want to order it. I'm, especially in Japan, I feel mm. like they don't do it justice here. Um, yeah. they, don't, they don't go hard <laughs> enough with the, with the pesto. They, they mm. reserve, they hold back. Mm. They treat it like it's a pepper, pepperoncino or something. They, they, yeah. they do it like a light flavor. I'm like, no, you gotta bury it. I respect bury the pronunciation it. of that. Yeah. Pepperoncino. 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 It's a, like it's a lighter pasta. Japan Japan likes their lighter pastas. And I, I feel like- <laughs> Japanese hate their flavor. Yeah. They just hate flavor, <laughs> right? And I feel like when they do a pesto pasta here, right? Uh, when they just, they're too scared to pile it on. I agree. Yeah. I Bury agree. it. If it doesn't look like this, if it doesn't look this green, yeah. you haven't put enough on. Yeah, yeah. totally. Um, totally. In agree. Japan, they'll just, it'll be like a light green. I'm like, what is this? Yeah. They use spaghetti as well. This? And it's fucking, it's, it's, it's always it's, spaghetti it's, here. It's, it's, I hate Japan. It's like spitting on the Mona Lisa. I'm like, why Why would you do it's that? It's only spaghetti. It's they already use a here. work of art. Just Italians are crying. Yeah. So you go to a nice, uh, you go to a real Italian place here and they'll be like, what kind of pasta do you want? You're like, my hero. They're asking me what kind of fresh pasta pasta I want. I get very passionate about this because I think that spaghetti tells me you didn't try. Yeah. It tells fair. me you thought about pasta as a monolith. You thought yeah. about it as all being accessible from the view of spaghetti. And I hate that. Uh, so yeah. All right. All right. All now right. I, I realize now I'm gonna have to put the- Tesco the sandwich. Oh, okay. I thought we were going to the beans on toast. I was gonna have to- Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do yeah. beans on toast first. Yeah. Right, I got to shot the fanny. All right. Okay. All right. Defend whatever the- All right. This first, first, first. This picture has done it. As, as, as a, as a <laughs> fellow- You bastard. You, you bastard. This is the worst picture ever. As, as a fellow Brit. Okay. As All a fellow right. Brit. How would you present beans on toast and not make it look like the most depressing right, right, dish right. you can? So, so uh, first of all, um, I, I, I understand there is a barrier of entry to, to beans on toast that is liking beans. Cause some people just do not like beans. And I, I can understand that. I'm a big bean lover. Yeah. Um, so the way that you make beans on, I would never eat it like this. The way you make beans on toast, God tier, take it to another level. First of all, white bread, get rid of it. We need we need better bread than this. You can get like- Like seeded bread? You get seeded bread. Yeah. You can get brown bread, multi-grain bread. You know, get bread with more flavor, more starch that complements the beans better. White bread gets way too soggy too quick and becomes mush. So you get the, the, the nicer bread. You toast the bread. It's gotta be toast. Like well, it's perfect. beans on toast. I know, I know, but some people don't do it enough. <laughs> they're, they're, they're too scared to well, toast. Well, that's that, bean that on that bread. Is, that yeah. raw, that is, that's, that bread that's is not raw. toasted enough. There, yeah, you gotta that, toast that, it a little bit. It's raw. raw. There should be a little bit of the bread that is slightly like charred. Hard, right yeah. mm. then this is where you take it to the next you level put cheddar on it you you got to put cheese on it you put oh, cheese of course. you can slice the cheese put it on top and then take it to the next level you put it in the you put it in the oven right you let the cheese melt that's that's right? what that's what everyone who doesn't eat live in england that's this is the right. image people think okay, so i never heard of the cheese so so then you so then you so bear in mind you toast the bread independently you get yeah. the beans ready you put it on top you put the cheese that's not it's just blocks of cheese right mm. then you put it in the oven the cheese melts, you take it out, you fry an egg. So it's a fried egg on top, God tier. And then you can put, which I like doing, but it's not for everyone. You can put the HP sauce on it, which is like a British staple. Yeah, and the brown that, sauce. Yeah, brown sauce. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got an absolute giga chat that of a meal. Sounds really It's so good. good. It's cheese, egg, beans, and bread. And it's like a mush. I know people- I feel like, like at this food. point, it's so good. It's beyond, it, you can't even call that beans on toast anymore. But that's how you make beans on toast like That's just like a exciting. breakfast toast. It's so fucking oh, good. I, I don't know. I mean- I, love I it. you know, I, there's an aspect of comfort in this. I'll admit, Charlie. Yeah, nostalgia, for sure. I know. mean, I I ate fucking you know Heinz beans when I was growing up as well because that was all over yeah. Australia. Yeah. But like, I mean, I'm not going to argue this because the one I'm not American, you know. So <laughs> I know I, the Americans want to come for yeah. me and they tell me that I'm clowning. Maybe Listen. if there was an American on this podcast, this would be a much more controversial pick. I, I, the, I will say dude. the one collective memory everyone has with like you know unloading a can of beans onto bread is that it doesn't matter how big the bread is, that shit's always falling yeah. off. Like, that shit's always you, spilling yeah, it over. It needs to spill, it yeah. needs to spill. The ratio needs to be more. Americans are too afraid to try this. They they fear for what they don't know. Uh, <laughs> you know, they, they need well, everything. The one you, you said actually sounds really <laughs> fucking good. Dude, it's so good. I, I need yeah. to try that now. Uh, like when for we come me, to the UK next, we'll, we'll whip For it me, up, I sick. have a bigger problem with uh, Tesco's meal deal. You put that over Greg. <laughs> Really? Well, the Gregs could really? be up here. This is, uh, you know what? Honestly, the Gregs probably deserves the spot more. I'll be, I'll, I'll be real with you. Yeah, yeah. The Gregs does deserve it, but I had to wrap it. I had to wrap it and nostalgia, <laughs> but uh, you know what? They've got- <laughs> To be fair, the chicken club is a banger. <laughs> chicken club's good. I also like the stuffing, bacon and chicken. Uh, one is really good uh, too. Although I overrate, I say bacon is kind of mid, but the stuffing yeah. is really good. Um, I, I do think that Tesco's have gotten way too comfortable jacking up those prices. Mm. It's getting to the point now where it's no longer kind of worth it. This is pure nostalgia for me, but the, there's That's not fair. there's nothing better. I, I you know, I love packed sandwiches. I think there's something about it that is just so kind of 
great. It's like, yeah, I could just Not fucking- Not the Japanese one. I can, no, fuck no. <laughs> I can just live off bread and some filling. Like, I feel like uh, there's something about it that just gets me happy. Mm. Um, and I love it. I think Greg should deserve it more. I'll be real with you. Uh, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah that was, that was my more. biggest problem where I, I saw this and I was like, yeah, this mother- Like, know. if we're going down this route, this motherfucker really Listen, thinks the Tesco it, meal it, deal is it, better it, than like Greg's- If we're in like our matrix simulation, <laughs> yeah. you hand me both your like meal deal or cheese and onion pasty or <laughs> yeah. sausage and bean melt. I'm like, all right, give me the- Give me the <laughs> give me the pasties. Um, but I had to wrap it. I had to wrap it. Yeah. All right. And then bottom middle fried chicken. Fried chi- just fried chicken in general. Fried chicken. Listen, I you know we've gone on about this boneless stuff. I appreciate all fried chicken. Bone in, boneless. It's I agree. all god tier. I agree. Um, we're being that, that that's what they want us to distract ourselves with. <laughs> yeah. um, I like wings a lot, but I think fried chicken just takes it for me. Um, right, but even fried what chicken. What kind of fried chicken? Just just any fried chicken. Korean fried chicken is really good too. I like Nashville hot chicken too. It's really nice. Oh, that is good. Yeah. Um, if you like all kinds of fried chicken, why did you not order more types of fried chicken when we were on tour? Uh, it was always boneless. Always. Well, I always like, boneless because because it's the comfort. It's the the true the true giga chad of realizing fried chicken is not of the flavors of fried chicken, the bone and bone out. It's the dips. The dips are what sets the, yep. the flavors apart. And America does some amazing that's, that's dips. Where, that's where you're just like- See, cause you're so a fool, cause you don't like drip. Wrong. You don't like dips. You, sure. like drip. <laughs> <laughs> you have no drip. You have no drip. In America, they have figured out dips. Their dip game is insane. Ranch, mm. blue cheese. But you'll like go to a place mustard. and they'll be like Chipotle something. You're like, I don't even know. You could combine Chipotle Chick-fil-A with something. Chick-fil-A sauce? Chick-fil-A Sheesh. sauce, or they'll be like- uh, well, I think Chick-fil-A sauce is great, but Chick-fil-A chicken is even great like without the sauce. Oh, fuck off, man. Are you, are you serious? You the sauce it's is- fucking great. It's I'm so- saying it's great. Sauces. I'm saying like- No, it's great, but too, the sauce is too what Too many times it. do I hang out with you guys and you were just like raising everything based on the sauce. Honey and I'm mustard. just like, it's not always about the sauce. No, it is. It is not always about the sauce. It really is. Smoke. It is not. Yeah. No way. Smoke eat food. some eat some plain ass Dude. fucking chicken, unseasoned chicken. I'm taking yeah. the dip any day. Honey mustard, oh god tier. God. Like smoky, oh, god. smoky chipotle, yeah. god tier. Nashville hot. You're not god real tier. chicken lovers. I, I refuse. I love chicken, but the, the dip is what elevates yeah. it. And in my mind, fried chicken inhibits that the best. Uh, and I, I, you know, when we were on tour, we had so many good places like, in every chicken, single place. With fried amazing chicken, is more, it's more than just the sauce. It's about the coating. It's about the seasoning. Yeah, that's the good coating too. That's well. good too. But yeah, how that's great fried, too. I want to mix it up. How crispy it is. There's so yeah. much to fried chicken. And then, just, but I, when you, beyond the and fucking sauce. And then when sauce. you have that perfect piece of chicken, as you describe, and you put some fucking dip into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, when I have, if I, go to, if I go to KFC, right? Which I don't. But if I do, and I have, I have the, like the leg, right? I'll, I'll eat the leg raw. And then I'm like, all right, it's time to mix it up now. It's time for gravy to get involved. You know, it's time to make this better. Uh, Cause I want to, I want to mix and match flavors. I want to have more than one flavor. He wants to do a combo breaker, dude. Let combo. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, and uh, Caesar salad, Caesar Caesar salad baby. I love a Caesar salad. I, especially, you know, in America, it's such a gamble. You either get like the most dog shit Caesar salad or you get such a good one. And I, I admit, <laughs> Sometimes they go too hard with the se- the, the dressing yeah, and they add too me. much stuff that makes it not healthy. Yeah. But when you get the perfect Caesar salad, it's like an awakening. You're like, oh my God, it tastes good. I feel great. And it's just such a good texture. The croutons are with the sauce and a little bit of shaved Parmesan My cheese. My one huh. criticism of Caesar salad that yeah. I've had in the past is that sometimes the croutons just spawn out of nowhere when you take a big mouthful of it and you I, just stab your fucking mouth. I with prefer it. small, in this picture, the croutons Those are Those croutons big. are huge. Yeah. Big, I prefer yeah. little chunks of croutons that just give me Like the little texture. cubes, right? Yeah, 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 I love the cubes. I don't know, to me like Caesar salads are like probably my least favorite salads. No, the dressing's so good. I, oh, I love the anchovy sauce. It, it's just so good. It just feels like too heavy, you know, sometimes. What's your favorite? Like a vinaigrette? Yeah, I love vinaigrettes. That's vinaigrettes all the way. Vinaigrettes like, are good. If I'm ordering a salad, oh. I'm like making the commitment to order, like, because I that means I'm craving something light. You know, Caesar mm. salad is- You can have a light Caesar salad. Not in America, you can yeah, America, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's why like, I like it. I like it in the UK, I like it in Japan. It's, you know, you can, you can, and that's why I like when you get to make it yourself, you can apply the amount of dressing you want. I've recently come around to like Cobb salads. Like I used to not really Cobb's like Cobb I like salads, yeah. but like, I think I've slowly kind of started to appreciate Caesar Cobb gang. salads more. Caesar I love gang. Caesar as well, don't get me Caesar wrong. But. It's the best dressing. It's the best number one, baby. Yeah. Number one all the way. I just wish some places in America would stop drowning that shit in the sauce. I love yeah. it. I love the sauce, Dude. but sometimes it's too much. But sometimes you go to a place, right? And they homemade. They make the the sauce homemade, mm. and it's like so anchovy, and I love that. Yeah, I love it when it's sure. super fishy. The anchovy is good. 
and with chicken, chicken breast like shredded, so mm. god tier. What mm. a what a what a fucking the chicken Caesar salads. Oh. Yeah, they're pretty good. Oh, <laughs> it's so good. I love it. <laughs> all right, it. all right. I with mean, the coffee unmatched. <laughs> and uh, you know, I'm very surprised that you did not put tiramisu. You know, it was going to be on there. It was going to be. You know, on there. when you said tiramisu, when I was talking about my yeah. thing, I should have replaced it with the shortcake. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think tiramisu might be higher for me yeah. than the shortcake. I, you know what? I think it's because ultimately I'm a savory guy until I die. Mm. Yeah. And I think even though I love tiramisu, there's I, I think the savory food still gaps it in my mind. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I just love I love salt and I love savory. <laughs> Foods. All of these are like very salty foods generally. Yeah. Um, and I really like salt. I'm, I'm gonna die of <laughs> stomach cancer probably, yes. but I love salt. Yeah. Sodium overload. I love salt. Uh, I, I There's never an occasion I won't go for something savory over something sweet. Oh, no, 100%. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, so yeah, that's my th food three by three. And that is our food three by threes. Yeah, yep. Let us know in the comments below whose opinions are right, whose opinions Listen, are wrong. Listen, I know I'm gonna be clowned on, but I don't care. I, I have the, I know my what I love. And hey, we don't have to heart. tell you, uh, but there's probably gonna be a shitload of food three by threes that are uh, unfolding in the subreddit. Show us on the I'm, subreddit. I'm just, show us. Like, I'm just, I think the most disappointing pick out of everything so far, Spagball. I just, I, yeah. I, I, I thought you Mid. were better, Joey. Mid. I thought you were better, hey, you know? That's my that's my Mid. precious memory with my grandma that I won't let anyone take away from me, okay? Sorry, Grandma. Love said, you, grandma. Sorry, grandma said sorry for this comment. Yeah. Sorry, hey, grandma. but look at all these uh, patrons though. Let's see what kind of food takes they have. I yeah. wonder if they're better or worse than what we have, but let us know down in the comments. And uh, hey, if you want to support the show, then head on over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. Thanks so much for watching gamers. I will see you guys Bye. next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.